Daniel. Oh god, this time change. Oh god. <laughs> How are you, Daniel? How are you doing, Thomas? Thomas will be horrified because uh, last time we did uh, Alien Isolation, he started getting nightmares about Zenny. Do you remember, Tom? <laughs> he watched so much Alien Isolation. He's watched so much of me playing Alien Isolation. He started getting nightmares about Zenny, <laughs> which uh, we're going back to next month. <laughs> oh, right. Um, okay. I've had to reinstall all the games, so let's just hope everything works and the save files are okay. I can only have, like, four games on the computer now. Four, like, big ones, anyway. So I can only have one Monster Hunter, Witcher, and uh, Remnant. I've still got Elden Ring on, but, um, like, we just don't have the space to have that much. <laughs> Not sure if they will win. <laughs> oh, Thomas! <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so right now in the UK it is um, 5.03 in the morning because your guys' clocks have gone forward and ours don't until the end of the month. We're still stuck in the cave. I've seen you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past. Our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Hello, Andrew. This burden on others, on so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The dark raiders abduct our children into land. How are you doing, Andrew? Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and 
this day. How you doing? You need to figure out who voiced the intro. I don't know. I don't know. I love the new. I love the start sequence when you've got the um, the LCs installed, and then it's much crisper because it's the update. So it's even crisper than before. But I forgot. We're in the. Um, we're still in the cave with Kira. Yeah, um, I'm all right, Andrew. I'm just tired. It is uh, 5, 18 a.m. in the UK. Because the witch Siri. Well, you guys have gone forward an hour, friend. and we don't until the end of the mess. month. Sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to have taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. And Kira wants a bit of that ass. And I can't blame Kira for wanting a bit of that ass, because so do I. <laughs> so do I. But yeah, we should have like the big like bit goal set up now, so I think you can donate 2,000 a day so to it. Good thing I came with you. Uh, you never have managed with I think that's what the crack is. You can send 2,000 bits a day. It won't let you send any more to try and meet that goal. And if we meet that goal, me and Kelly and whoever else wants to play is gonna, are going to do a Sons of the Forest playthrough. Marathon playthrough. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Yeah, never. Because of the fucking time change. I have no idea how we're gonna do that. Either me or Kelly is gonna have to uh, either stay up all night or get up really early, one or the other. And I would buy really early. I mean earlier than I am now. I mean like 2 a.m. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember this guy. Right. Okay. Hang on. I think he's got two lots of hounds, Danny, hasn't he? Um, he's got two lots of hounds, and he... Um, you can't damage him whilst he's in his little bubble, and he heals again, doesn't he? Let's just check I've got everything I need in my inventory. Problem is, because I'm such low level, like... Uh, my potions wear off really quickly. Okay, um, Quen. <laughs> Quen. Definitely Quen. Uh, stop! Stop! Is that all the food I've got? Raw meat. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great! Oh. Salamanca. Okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Oh, I didn't meditate for some reason. That's not good. What now, you piece of filth? Was that me? Hello, Missy. Or was that the... I don't know whether that's the game or my alerts. How are you, Missy? Did you get your mug through? Last time I did this, I died because of my toxicity of the city. How do you like that silver? Yeah, so me and Kelly will do a um, Sons of the Forest marathon if we complete the star goal. I don't know what amount it should be because Thomas, how many, tell me how many points you've got in your full Twitch-like uh, repertoire, because um, I don't know how many points it should be. Shit, right.
right, there's okay. There's the other hounds. Okay, we got more from the other side. It's all right, I got it. How you doing, Missy? Did you get your mug through? Sorry, give me a second to beat this idiot. Oh, shit. Geralt! At least Kira isn't completely useless. Whereas uh, the one that's named after me, Shani, is completely frickin' useless. She's like, oh, I'll just stay by the cave. I best not get in the way. She's so useless. Kira, do something, will you? How do you like that silver? Ooh, I cut him in half. You got 25,000. <laughs> yeah, I thought that maybe 60k was going to be too little. That's all right. That's okay. See, you can always add these, and I don't know why it matters. You see, you can always, like, twat these pillars, and I don't know why. Why? Like, I don't know why. <laughs> How do you like that silver? Yeah, so I thought maybe 50k was too little. But I think you can only donate 2k at a time. Is that right, Thomas? You can only put 2k at a time. Like, um... Into the... Big goal. <laughs> well, that was easy, wasn't it? Luna. All right. Let's watch this message. Smash that, didn't I? Kira, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here. Oh, good morning, WB. How are you? Sorry, that was very squeaky, Tough wasn't it? No How are you, mate? And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together? Not much to go on. The fact that Good, we morning. Learned Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, mate. Not Thank about you, about these stars. Well, we know they Thank were well you. acquainted and traveling to put 2k points in. Cool. Me too, Thomas. <laughs> Me too, and I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. But yeah, so I've put 50,000 points, but I think we'll smash that really quick because, like you say, you've got 25,000. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm pretty sure you can only put 2k a day in. I don't think it'll let you put any more in. We'll have to see. The witches of Crookback Swamp. I needed that dance this morning, WB. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them in an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, something I called me out into the dream swamps. Well, <laughs> render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Kate. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good star alert, isn't it? The monster star alert. We've got uh, funny alien ones next month as well. We've got funny uh, xenomorph ones. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel, one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. I can read you bedtime stories what at Claire Morgan. All not in Kelly. know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right, then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good I think idea. Kira might reminds me of you, Kate. I don't know why. I've never met you. But I think Kira's quite like Why'd Kate. Why even come? Oh, this we go next. Right, okay. I know that they get sent from uh, different places, Missy. Um, they get sent from different places. I mean, it's crazy now because I'm multi-streaming the amount of alerts that really I need to change. It's crazy. Every month. <laughs> it's, it's, it comes around really fast. It's like the last week of the month I spend most of the week, like, changing all the star alerts and starting sequence and everything. Okay. But since we're being evil, Geralt, uh, we are going to let the lady out of the mountain. I've never done that before. But actually, the fight with the three crones is actually one of the best parts of the game. But you never know, I'm going to surprise myself. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? Oh, they never work. They never work. I think, I, yeah, I think Kira it's Metz reminds me of Kate. I, I don't know why. Well. I've never met you. But... I expected we might do <laughs> such things. Never so met I you, this. but I do, she does remind me of you. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. Thanks. Scooby-Doo in Polish. Why are you watching Scooby-Doo in Polish? Let's see where the passage leads. Twitch always works, okay. Twitch always works. We're trying to get Kelly set up with um, the multi-stream because Twitch is the way that tells me when people are on now. Do you My phone that? will always ping. A flow of fresh air from the left. Must Twitch. be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? No, I'm not going to help you, Kira. I'm going straight to the bog. Gotta look for it alone. <laughs> I should go to Crookback Bog. Think you can manage? No one wants more Gwent. Best of luck to you. I'll stop by. You can be sure. I think Kira's cool, case, Cole. Do you not want me to romance her? See ya, Kira. Do you not want me to romance her? I think we should. Ro I think I think Kira's cool. Do you not want me to the romance her? Because I will. <laughs> We're not bothered. I don't. We probably need the lamp, but I bet we can find it like later on. Yeah. Okay. We can. Okay. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate my I've never done any of this dialogue. Third, that third I am going to romance sense. her. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. The picnic thing is ace. Mm -hmm. oh, Alright, I know you want more Gwent. Right. <laughs> That's this enough quests! Get the Gwent out! I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. There's Just a nip on show there, did you see? Sense. There's a nip. Did you see the nip? Four guardians, there was four just, flames, just the edge of the standing nip. proud in a line. The first to light his fire. Oh no, dared not, not this one. I'm on ruining all the puzzles for you if you've never played the this. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right. 
right? I'll see if I can do it from memory. Okay, he's got the loot. He's got the loot, but he's got a beast. He's just the uh, first one, and then he's that one. Okay. So, we like that one. Um, then we light the liar, I think. Something just happened. And then we light I the pussycat. Just gotta figure out the order. Four statues, each like the other. It's alright, Kira, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it, Kira. Oh, was that wrong? Maybe that was wrong. Oh, shit. Maybe that was wrong. Alright, well, I, I ballsed up the last two. Oh, shit! Balls it up. I think that's right. If you balls it up, you end up with wraiths. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was right. I thought it was the. Well, maybe it's not. That's in the wall. Just keep hacking at the wall. Okay. to come out going over to twitch yeah donate your points donate your points uh cole because um if we get the 50 we'll do sons of the forest okay that wasn't right <laughs> um seems we did something wrong the bella glan hang on what was that inscription again four guardians four flames standing proud in a line First, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, oh, what this is, lit up like a but child. Jay says it's a fucking big sea turtle. No, it's Look, a baby wheel. it's a baby fucking wheel, man. Holy shit, we are witnessing a baby fucking wheel right here, dude. Holy shit, that thing is big, Jay. What is that thing? It looks hurt. I don't know. That thing looks hurt, Jay. Okay, no. Jay, that's thank you, Cole. Get that baby Holy wheel out. Shit, look at this fucking thing. Oh my god. Well, I suppose it is a race, is that, so. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you for your stars, everybody. Right, okay. Gavella Glan, good for you. Um, I was right the first time. That one. Then this one. Um, then this one. No. I did it right though. Mm -hmm. Hang on. It's too early in the morning for puzzles. Oh, shit. I might die. Oh, no. Okay, there she is. Bloody lamps. Keep your lamps off me. I did it the right the first time. Oh, man. What was that inscription again? Say it again, babes. I did it right the first time. What well, was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. I was right the first time! How did that not work? That was the opposite way that I did it. I was right the first time. Why did that not work? Huh? Because the first one's the guy with nothing, right? Then the second one is the one with the liar. Then the third one, right, is the guy with the cat. And then the fourth one is the other one with the liar. Surely. Oh shit, I can't see what I'm doing. Come on, 
Johnny, surely, surely. Gavella Glan. That one, right? Then the one with the feckin' liar. Then the uh, faithful beast, and then the other one with the liar. <laughs> this is the worst trolling ever. Yeah. The mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. Let's try it. It was a graveyard smash. Four statues, each like the other. There it goes. Okay, it's it's not that way. I, that, the only way I didn't do it was the way I did it the first time, man. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Cheers, mate. I've done it every other way now, but the way I did it the bloody first time. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, the first one is the guy with nothing, right? Okay, he dared not march, so he lights his first one. He hasn't got anything. Then the second one played the lament, right? So he's the one... Just... W he's the one with the liar and the cat. Mm -hmm. Let's see where the passage Four, two, leads. One, three. That's what I did the first time! That's what I did the first time. Do you feel that? Good. Wait. Lamp. I can... Oh no! Help. Splendid. <laughs> Donate okay. to the marathon, yeah. Okay, no, no, I don't want to do... I don't want to do your torch thing. I know! Mikira, don't... I don't want to do your, tor the, your thing. Inscription here. Okay. Show me. That's what I did the first time! You translate the inscription. I can decide oh. that third, but that third doesn't make much it didn't difference. didn't work! <sighs> oh, the star count! All oh, right. <laughs> it's not, it's not a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians. We four can go fears, back and do it, apparently. Standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire. The third, and thus they stood. I did that the first time. Sounds four, like two, one, all right. three. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. immediately wrong <laughs> we can go back and get the lamp apparently seems we did something wrong no it's not four two one three as if we're facing the top <laughs> This one, right? What was that inscription again? Then the guy with the four boats standing proud in a line. Oh my god. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The first. Wait. Something just happened. Mm hmm. Behind that wall, a movement. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames. This is the way I did it the first time. The first to light his fire dared not march on the. Then it's the one over the there. Second, then it's the, the one with that. Played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood over. Their this feet. is how I did it the Let's first time. Stars. How did that not work? That is definitely what I did the first time. <laughs> oh my god. Whose grave is it? What do you think? <laughs> oh no my god. Sadly. Yeah, so if you donate all goal. your bits, all your bits, all your channel points I guess this is to the big goal in longer. Twitch, we'll we'll do the Perhaps Sons of the Forest marathon. To her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most seers. That's definitely what I did the first time, is it not? of Lord. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. 
this what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. Oh! We have to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? We get the lamp anyway. Oh, my lord. What? So if you tell her that you won't get the lamp, they'll give it to you anyway. Really? That's crazy. Okay, so anyone who, like, does the mission where you need to get the lamp, you don't need to actually do that. Weird. <laughs> she was just like, oh, yeah, this lamp, yeah. <laughs> How weird that is. Okay. Hello, Benji. <laughs> morning, mate. How are you? I say morning. It's now not morning for you. Gotta use it. Whee! Oh, come on. We've got to do the. We've got to do the sexy picnic, Cole. Will you let me do the sexy picnic? <laughs> oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Are you going to play with us, Cole, those if we do the marathon? opportunity and take advantage. And those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit there me sometime. There is a nipple sticking out. Be sure to stop by. I mean, he's a dick, so he doesn't really care, but whatever. I'll stop by. I'll you stop can be sure. By. You can stop by place, my I cave anytime, Gary. See ya, Kira. See? It gave us the special lamp anyway. It just gave us the lamp, which was weird, but okay. Okay, uh, Gwenting. Oh, let's go fuck Barnabas up. Let's go fuck up Barnabas. Uh, we need to go uh, this way. Let's go fuck Barnabas up, Cole. Oops, that is not the button for calling the horse. That's Elden Ring. There is a point you can harvest. Harvest what? What do you want me to harvest? What do you want me to harvest, Daniel? Inside the cave. Well, there's one just inside the cave. There isn't, man. You would think it would be on the map. somewhere I don't want to have to fight that bloody golem because uh, we simply don't have the time place of power oh right it's a yard and one okay cool We got an ability point to add to the gold tree. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what happens. Imagine if we did the gold tree and uh, it was like really good. Um, it won't 
won't actually let me have this. I don't understand it. But it won't actually... Ah, I'm not pressing the right button. Mm. Okay, I'm not pressing the right button. Okay. But the, all the mutagens don't do shit. Like, when you put them next to the gold, so... Who fucking knows? <laughs> who knows what's gonna happen when we do that? Okay. Um, I don't remember how we got out. Oh, we go this way. Okay. think where this boat goes because it's weird that the boat is here oh it goes to fike isle it goes to the fike isle quest okay i don't know whether we need to do that is that part of kira's because um the guy with the goats he um if we're nice to him and we do nice Geralt, i'm sure that the fike island quest is part of that is it not is the Fike Island not to do with that? Come on! Come on, horse! That's it, Roach. Are you gonna join in with Sons of the Forest, Cole? You bloody better. I don't know how we're gonna organize it, because either me, or either you two, or way! No thanks. Either you, <laughs> no thanks. Either you, me, or, um, oh no! Roach! Roach! Oh god! No! No, run away. Either you and Kelly or me are gonna have to like either stay up all night. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Oh no, we don't want doggos. No, we don't. Oh no. Oh no! Run away! Run away! Brave, brave, brave Sir Robin. Run away! No. 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 No, don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Mr. Wolf. I'm still being chased by the bloody doggos. Oh, it is the key request. Okay. Hang on, should I just sail it? Should I just swim across here? I'm trying to find out where we're going. Yeah, we'll just... With full armor, because that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> with full armor, because that would be a really good idea. Need to visit Danny. Oh, a hag! Look, there's a hag! <laughs> God, they fall! Oh, she's fucking me up. Okay, let's run away. Run away! Not good. Not good. Definitely not good. Run away, otherwise we're gonna die and we haven't got a save. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Phew! That was close. Whoa. I'm gonna go and beat Barnabas. Out the creek. Might catch something. Barnabas was, uh... Barnabas was half an ounce with Gwent, so Azor. we need to do that. Some tortoise shells. Show me your wares. Oh, he plays Gwent too. Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Trade remedies. I don't know whether I've played him. I can't tell. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. That was a better sword than what I have. Oh dear. Oh dear. What a melon. That's actually better than what I'm using. So uh, we need that back. <laughs> I can't buy it back. 
Oh, what an idiot. Okay, we'll buy the Gwent cards, though. You do get better prices if you go to, like, an armorer for stuff. They'll sell, they'll give you better prices. I can't remember how we, um... to think because hmm. I need a better sword but like a witcher one really we must only get the monster cards from much later on let's play cards Gwent wouldn't be bad Gwent wouldn't be bad I must be getting some decent cards here you know yeah whoa I've got a lot of Scoia'tael I've got some monsters, but not many. I've got a decent number of nil cards. Okay. Not bad, mate. Not bad at all. We've done quite well. I can't remember where Cole said he was up to. monster so really we want the front ones gone she's nuts <laughs> how you doing Benji oh, okay we've got two spies though so that's gravy we can get more cards the online one on the um the online Gwent actually isn't bad. You've just got to get used to it. I don't like the fact that there's pay to play in it, but see, I, I don't like pay to play. And I know what people say, they're always like, oh, but some people don't have time to get better. And you know, and I just think, well, isn't that fucking games though, mate? You know what I mean? Isn't that sort of what games are? It's just time. I don't, I don't get that argument at all. Oh, I saw you looking very, very swish in your suit yesterday, Benji. I was scrolling through my feed and I saw you were looking very swish. try and win this round I could just chuck it oh very squish very suave um yes I've got a biting frost thank god for that otherwise I was gonna be stuffed Thing is, if he's got a scorch and I lock all of the siege weapons, then he can scorch the fucking lot of them. Let's just hope that he doesn't. See, by doing this, I've like locked them up. You understand the Final Fantasy card game though, Benji, don't you? Do you understand it when Como's doing his Final Fantasy game? See, he, have, he doesn't really have many fucking cards. It's not very complicated. It's really not. essentially just you see the points in the top left on the card it's essentially who has the most the first time I played Witcher I didn't bother with Gwent at all and then I couldn't complete half of the like um is that what it's called is it called eight is it I know that 
Kamo quite likes it, doesn't he? Oh god, this guy was crap. This guy didn't stand a chance. <laughs> what the hell? He didn't stand a chance in hell, that lad. Okay, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't actually uh, challenge him because we got a card for that. Is that what it's called? I've never watched it a lot. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's quite Gwenty. But I know if you want to, like, a hundred percent a game, especially Witcher, you've got to do a lot of the Gwent, like a lot of the, um, a lot of the Steam achievements are Gwent based. So. The first time I did this, I never did any Gwent, and I regretted it later on. Um, where's my signpost? We need to try and beat Barnabas. Oh, Final Fantasy VIII. All right, what's the card game called then, Benji? What's the Final Fantasy card game called? Is it only in eight? is it? What's your favorite uh, Final Fantasy? Oh, there's the old woman who told us we were going to get uh, warts on our foreskin. <laughs> um, it was Novigrad. We need to go to Novigrad. That's right. It's a rip-off of Seven. Is that the new one? What's the new one that's come out? Is a new one like a remake? I can't remember. Oh, God. People who spit... I hate people who spit on the floor. Does anyone else hate that? I fucking hate that. There was, I was at the, we, uh, we were filling up the truck the other day, and there was this guy who had worked for like a removals firm, and he spat on the car, he spat on the floor about 10 times in 60 seconds. It was disgusting. It was absolutely disgusting. Taking a peek at my wares, yeah. Take a peek at my wares. Hello, Gurk. Okay, we need to go and beat Barnabas. <laughs> Everyone to me! To me! Where's this side? Maybe, maybe Barnabas is going to fuck us up again. I don't know. Maybe he's going to... Uh, Barnabas fucked us up last time. Mark of the Devil. Good evening, Kirk. How are you, mate? Oh, Barnabas. I remember you. I need Cole's help. Cole, I need your help, man. A round of Gwent. Why not? But you know my rules. High stakes, always. I'll play on your terms. Oh, I quite like the card games, Benji. I think they add a um, different kind of aspect to... Um, See, he's Nilfgaard, and his ability cancels mine out. So it doesn't matter what I do here. Okay. I, th I, I just know how difficult Perhaps it is. Oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong game. button. Or when you learn to play. Oh, I hate people spitting, Kirk. I hate oh, it. This guy was just you. gobbing what and gobbing and gobbing. Like, do they not understand how their mouths Around work? Gwent. I can't. Why not? I don't understand you know why you need rules. to spit on the floor. I stay. Oh, it's all nice. I'll play on your terms. It's horrible. And they just make, just, they think it makes them look hard, but it doesn't. It just tells me you can't control your mouth. One, four, six, and seven. How many are there now, Benji? Are there 16 altogether now? I don't know. I don't. I don't know why they spit. Have you never met people who just gobbin all the time, constantly just spitting on the floor all the fucking time? Horrible. See, I've got the scorch now. So if he links us set together, then I can scorch the whole lot. His leader ability cancels mine out. Yeah, you 
Sneeze link those, so now if I... 16 main, although 11 and 14 shouldn't count. Right, okay. I don't know what... It was... No, I think it just thinks... I think, Kate, that they think it makes them look hard. Which it doesn't. I'm like, do you not know how to swallow? Hello, James! I just think, do you not know how to swallow spit? Come on. past now so I can just scorch these theoretically and that'll make us win let's hope so what why did that do that huh I don't know why that did that maybe it's only the highest thing in the deck I can't remember Cole! Cole, where have you gone? Oh, I think it's horrible, Kirk. People spitting on the floor. It's disgusting. Maybe it's the highest card in the deck that it scorches, maybe. Right, I'm going to steal his spy straight away and then replay it against him. Seven has the most side games. I quite like the little side games because I think that I just know how hard that would be to make. Imagine if you were the developer and you had to make a card game like this that worked. Like, Jesus, that would be difficult, man. Okay, so he's got a decoy as well. That's fine. I've never played a single Final Fantasy. I've watched quite a bit of a Final Fantasy, but I've never... Um, I've never actually played one myself. There's a kid who did it all the time. It's horrible. I hate it. Bath. See, I can't use my, um... I think he's gonna smoke me again. Oh, damn it, Barnabas! I might as well just play everything. Oh, the spin-offs of the lore. Right, okay. one quite good was it because often when you go back to the first ones you're like well i am anyway i'm just gonna try and play everything to beat him now because he's fucked me up First is the first you played. Well, you're as old as me, aren't you, Benji? You're my age, aren't you? I ain't got no more cards. I am out. Dear. Too fucking dude. Perhaps you should come back when you've got a better deck. You're or a wee bit you more youthful. Are you? I'm 35, so I thought you were about the same age as me. Are you younger than me, you dickhead? How dare you? How dare you? 
shit, I still can't beat old Barney. Bollocks. True. I need to buy some food though, because we are out of food. Oh! Oh! <laughs> What'll it be? Oh! Bollocks. Mind if I have a look? I bought all his Gwent cards, so we're cool with that. I need to buy some food. Since we're on Death March, we need food. Okay. You'll be 35. Yeah, so you're a tiny bit younger than me. So long. I'm not used to meeting people who are younger than me. Then I'll well, sell the cloth you? for shrouds. Okay. Way. You'll be 51 in May. You're not the oldest, though, Kirk. Mando's older than you. Mando's older than you. You're the, you're the daddy. You're the daddy of the, the chap. Careful, there's a swindler about. Attention, countrymen. Don't get taken in by the platitudes and false prophecies dealt by a so-called soothsayer dwelling in Benkelham. This man calls himself a sage, but knows as much about divining the future as any toothless village hag. And all he truly cares about is extracting coin from the unwary. Don't let him cheat you. It'll only encourage him. Okay, I'll just pick up the... You're 40, WB. Yeah, you're not much older than me. Okay. I'm going to see if we can romance... Um, Kira, let's see if we can get Kira um, doing the sexy picnic thing because that's really cool. Oh! Wow. See, I've got the DLC on as well, so the DLC will like appear as well. But usually the quests will be. You're the mum. Yeah, you're the mummy of the chat, Kate. Yeah. I think you're a bit older than Dotty, aren't you? I think Dotty's forty. I think Dotty's about the same age as Danny. I think. Yeah, if we go to quest, the blue ones are the... Oh, yeah, we've only got one. Okay, so the blue ones are the um, expansion. Let's see if we can romance Kira, because even though he's evil Geralt, he still needs to get his end away. You've got two grandchildren, Kirk, have you? A guy I know, right, who is... Um, he's only... Maybe only 44 or something. He's a granddad as well, and it's just he's the most unlikeliest granddad you've ever seen. Long live Ranovin! Oh, there's another blacksmith. Okay, I really should have sold my blacksmithy type shit to him. He's the most unlikely grandfather ever. I've known him for years, and whenever he's like, oh, the grand bands are coming round, I'm like, what? So how many kids have you got, Kirk? I know you've got a, you've got, is that your daughter? Um, I'll go up, I'm, hopefully there's a fucking signpost up here. I can't remember. I think there is. Help, Help. Stay off me. I'm dying of poverty. Oh, this is the, um. Fuck. Fuck. This is the academy, okay. That's a different quest for a different time. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> okay. Arr! For some reason, there's not a freaking signpost there. I like the way that you've got four kids of your cook. Wow. That's ah. a rat for sure. Mm. I, don't know, I don't know how you manage. <laughs> Cats is too much bother for me. <laughs> You'll choke to death on three pounds. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Let's try and romance Kira. Yeah, cats are enough bother for me. Whenever the cats are acting up, I'm like, God, what are kids like? If cats are bad, what are kids like? Okay, let's try and romance Kira. Where is she? Is that Kira there? I thought she was by Midcops, isn't she? I think I think this is her, isn't it? She does a really she does this picnic where she sort of sexually assaults us. <laughs> we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get sexually harassed by Kira. I'm pretty sure that is Kira there, isn't it, Danny? Yeah, 
Yeah, look, I don't, I don't have any semen demons, but uh, it's been a few close calls. My poor mother. My mother, I'm, I'm an, like my mother's only child, and uh, every time like a friend or a family member has a baby, she's always like, "Wouldn't it be lovely?" I'm like, "For you, <laughs> not for me." The rats. Why did he need them? Oh no. Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them. I think them we have to do the, but no, no. the fight aisle before we get the picnic bollocks. I'm pretty sure we do. Kira, the fight aisle quest is really dark though, so Kira. we'll do that. <laughs> you gave me quite one of my stuff. favorite quests. Bernay the mage says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still... The youngest is 20. Oh, well, at least the, the, are they all out of the house now? <laughs> at least you've the kept them alive for that long. Incessantly ...about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How did it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. You've got to know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serag, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. This is it a, was a massive grim quest, it really is. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. The nips are sticking Natalie, out, Danny. You need to I don't have to tell five. you, but you can Fine. see them. What then? You're like, I know. The spirits who wander the aisle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you, I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. I don't know where the fetty carries that. It's like a foot long. The rest have boyfriends and live with them. Oh, well, that's good. I'm amazed you can keep somebody alive for that long. Whenever my mother is like, wouldn't it be lovely? I'm like, mother, I don't have enough money to look after myself. Never mind children. Come on. She's like, oh, but How's the, lamp the time will never be right. She's Just that desperate. <laughs> She's that desperate now. Do something um, magical. <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will give you my Xenovox. Are you, you tell me what kidding you on me? I should tell you what to do and look for. See, I'm missing a lot of dialogue here, but uh, when you play it, pick all of the dialogue because it's all really good. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fire Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ooh! That rumble in his voice. Okay. But yeah, my mother when I was young... It was her biggest fear when I was young that I would come home knocked up. She was terrified when I was young that I would come home and I would get knocked up, right? <laughs> so she was always like, that was her biggest fear. But now she's so desperate. She's like, the time will never... I was like, I look, I haven't got the money to support a child. Thank you very much. She's like, oh, but the, the time will never be right. That's how desperate she is now. <laughs> Loads of stuff downstairs. Thanks, Kira. I'll just steal all of this off you babes. You won't mind. They never mind. <laughs> they never mind. I sort of hope in the next one they do put like a mechanic in that stops you just stealing everything from people because uh, it's a bit weird. Okay. We'll do the Fike Isle quest because it's really dark. It's one of my favorites. I think the Fike Isle, the um, 
the werewolf on um, Skellige and uh, the Iris von Everett quest. Oh, it's so good, Kate. It's so, so good. You'll, you'll lose hundreds of hours into it. It is so good. Usually, on normal difficulty, you, um, you don't need to eat. So all that rubbish where I'm eating stuff all the time is only top difficulty. On normal difficulty, you would just meditate for even like an hour. And then you've healed and you've restocked all your um, potions and things. But you don't need to eat stuff like I'm doing in normal difficulty. Which I'm just doing it to just because... Just because that's what I like doing. But you don't have to do that. It kind of... It's a bit pointless, really. Uh, right, okay. Uh, questicles. So, let's do the Fike Isle because it's grim. S suggested level six. Whatever. Not bothered. And we should do the horse races, actually, if we come across them. Because we need Gwent money. We need Gwent money for that. Okay, let's go to old Midcops and uh, Tower of Mice. So yeah, if you've built up any Twitch points, if you go over to Twitch and check what uh, channel points you've got, you can donate up to 2,000 a day for the big uh, marathon multiplayer. I know Kelly's saying he wants to do a multiplayer doing something else as well. Um, says he's going to do a multiplayer to raise money for my for my drive. <laughs> but that'll be a different one. Um, but the... Um, the one on Twitch is for Sons of the Forest. I don't know what he's going to play for that one. But if you meditate, you lose like these power-ups by going to the um, the tables and things. You lose those. I don't know whether you lose them when you fast travel. I'm about to find out. I think I've, I think I've robbed everything in this village. I'll just check. <laughs> Naughty Geralt just wants Gwent money. No, I haven't. I haven't stolen everything in here off these peasants. Peasants! Broken rake. Super duper. I should have really, like, killed the cows. You know, the cow thing, Danny. I really should have done that, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. But evil Geralt would have just killed the cows for money, wouldn't he? I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Yeah, I hope in the next in the next Witcher they make it um, so that you can't steal things from people's well, houses because it makes no fucking sense. <laughs> You're like, yes, I'll help you. Don't worry. Oh, I've Jeez. stolen everything you own. <laughs> okay. Some of the quests in Witcher are really dark. But yeah, well, if you play it, Kate, do all of the. Um, oh God, we're gonna have to ride it. Do uh no, we're gonna have to ride it. Do all of the dialogue options because the storyline is the best part of this. It's so good. Um there should be a boat somewhere. I thought there was a boat. It's obviously not on the map, which is weird, but okay. I thought we had a boat. It's not too late. Oh god. I can't remember. Is it? It's in white. Oh, I don't want to do it. I can't bring myself. Oh, hello, Armin. How are you, mate? Thank you for your cash app yesterday, Armin. Thank you, mate. It all keeps us going. All the all the donations keeps us going. So thank you so much can't do this without you i always say that but we we really can't uh right okay i, I can't kill the poor cows but evil Geralt would have done it wouldn't he but that's what people do right people cheat and um roach people cheat and kill the cows in white orchard but if uh just to make money at the start of the game but if you do it, the developers put a thing in, whereas if you do it too many times, like a big monster will appear and like seek revenge on you, which I thought was quite cool. I've never seen it happen. I can't bring myself to kill the cows. The 
four cows. God, I used to be playing this thing called, um... Was it called Sheepy? Oh, is that a griffin? Whoa! Certainly sounds like a griffin. Roach. We don't have the levels. We don't have the levels, don't get distracted. No, no, Wolvies, no. No, Mr. Wolf! Don't. Don't. No, Mr. Wolf. No. God, it's crazy around here. There was a bloody, there was a boat. There it is. Phew! Okay, then. There we go. Okay. I just love this quest. It's dark. It's dark AF. The boats are really nice. I do think that they've, like, the water's nicer and everything. But like I say, it was nice originally. I can't tell... I don't know what's different in the update compared to the first game. I can't really tell. I just know that it looks beautiful because this game was made. Was it 2004 or something? No, it can't be. <laughs> when was it made? 2010. Geralt, can you hear me? It was gorgeous for its time anyway. Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it, or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition! Wonderful. I'm super duper underleveled for this island, but uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, it'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. I'll just save a lot. <laughs> okay, let's save the fucking game. I cannot save now. Come on. There we go. Okay. Gerald? Are you on the aisle yet? Does the Xenobox work? What? Oh, God. And here. We're just broke already. Sheesh. Sheesh. What is this magic? What did you say? Are these the ones that blow up? You I think these are the ones control. that blow up. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do. Oh, God. Okay. If you get caught in that explosion, you are uh, brown bread. So, it's not good. Don't get caught in the explosion. Just looking for stuff. Oh no, we got three. Oh, we got three of them. Well under level for this island. We should be six and we're four, but whatever. Don't scare me. Run away. If they blow up, you are deed. Like that. But they do take each other out, which is nice. What were we playing the other day where Kelly was saying, oh, it was Remnant. It was Remnant. Where if things blow up, they don't take out other things. Okay. It's all right. I'm getting my Witcher groove back. I don't care about being under level, motherfucker. I got this. I got this. <laughs> their essences to make more shit. I love the yodeling. Okay. Any more dickheads that want to die? Oh, this lad does here. <laughs> I love how they just float away. I wonder how how like long it took the developers to put that uh, that monster appearing. Right, okay. So usually, if you pick the good quest line with the guy with the goat, he appears here and you do like a ceremony with him here in this uh, stone circle. But because we picked like the evil quest line with the Baron, he's not here, which is weird. 
I've never done this before. It's quite interesting. It's definitely an experimentation run, this. some of the good money shots for the uh, finishing moves. You do get a really cool, like, uh... Oh, hello, KG. How are you, mate? We are. We're doing something really stupid. <laughs> we're doing something really daft. We're only picking uh, evil dialogue. I mean, I've played it. I've played it twice all the way through on Death March. But uh, we're doing something... What do you mean? Oh, Sake. Um, this time we're doing Death March, but we're only picking evil dialogue. And um, oh shit, um, we're only picking evil dialogue, and we only care about Gwen. <laughs> but because we've only picked evil dialogue, the leveling is really hard. So a lot of the dialogue you get for like getting more items and money and stuff, we don't get. So we just have to do like Witcher contract and just like max out the offer. Oh, honestly. <laughs> it's an experimentation run. What? I can't hear. Just broke already. It's gonna be pretty funny. It is gonna be funny. We've we've got some weird dialogue, like really weird dialogue really odd stuff like we refused old nan with her pan we were like no bitch we ain't got no time for your pan <laughs> oh yeah it's just uh, i'm getting my witcher groove back now but... and again we're so under leveled for all these quests it's crazy <laughs> Kate's never played it before. She's going to do it this weekend. And I was like, oh, you'll love it. The, what's kind of killing me, though, KG, is I'm doing... Uh, I'm missing a lot of the dialogue because um, we're, doing, we're only doing Evil Geralt and I'm trying to race through it as fast as I can. So we're missing a lot of the dialogue and I feel bad about it because a lot of the dialogue, as you know, is like the best part of the game. And the other thing we're doing, which is stupid, is we're only upgrading gold tree. I've never done gold tree. I've done all red, right? I've done all red tree, which was good. Because you get those crazy, like, finishing moves. Have you seen them? That you get when you fully upgrade um, red tree and then you do something else. I can't remember. You get that spinny one and then you get that really good power attack. Um, but... And I upgraded the poison tree completely, just did green tree, and that was OP. That was amazing. Green tree is the best out of all of them. Um, but this time, just to be stupid, we're only upgrading the gold tree. And we, well, I don't know what's going to happen with that, because gold tree is meh, usually, I would have thought. But that's what we're doing. We're only doing gold tree. <laughs> Maybe, I, we're just thinking maybe uh, it'll be amazing. Maybe Gold Tree, we'll, we'll upgrade it fully and it'll be amazing. This is one of my favorite quests, actually. What are your favorite quests, KG? I was saying mine are this one on Fike Isle, Tower of Mice. Um, the Morvog on um, Skellige and the Iris von Everick. They're my favorite quests. I just think they're dark AF, aren't they? It's weird not having a lock on after playing so much Elden. I am messing my button pressing up because we haven't, I'm pressing Elden buttons, especially on Roach. Oh. I keep like uh, trying to use all my Elden buttons instead, and that's not going well. <laughs> Having like attack as uh, different keys. <laughs> Some of the funny stuff about this, where the enemies just like fly up in the air. I've missed it. I've missed it. All the money shots with the uh, 
with the finishing moves as well. Some of them are ace. But I was looking through all my Steam achievements for this, and uh, I have more or less 90% of the Steam achievements. Most of the ones I don't have are Gwent based, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get all those Gwent Steam achievements. We've got some really stupid Steam achievements for this. They've done a thing now on Steam. I don't know whether you've seen it, because I didn't know that they did this. You can, like, um, uncover the uh, hidden achievements now on Steam, which I had no idea. You know, it used to be like, yeah, just go and find out what they are. Not anymore. You can, like, uncover them, which is, uh, I didn't know. Giving me no choice. Giving me no choice. Oh, Doug. What are your favorite quests, Danny? In Witcher. Those are definitely my three faves. I didn't mind Blood and Wine, but I much preferred Hearts of Stone. Even though, like I say, it is sort of all stolen from R.R. R. Martin. I didn't, I quite, I liked Hearts of Stone the best. But again, right, because we're doing Evil Geralt, we can't get the saddle or anything. Oh no, we can get the saddle, but we can't get all of the stuff in the, uh, hang on. We can't get all of the stuff in the cave. We can't go to Master Mirror's, um, like, dream world because we don't give a shit about, um, Old Geard. We're just gonna let him die. And then, as you know, he walks away, like, holding the skull. You remember? He walks away, like, tossing the skull. Hello, Matt! What are your favorite quests? I'm sure these are necrophages. I'm sure ghouls are necrophages. I know you said you didn't think they were, but I'm sure they are. to get me Witcher groove back. Whee! How are you doing, Mac? Good morning. How are you? I've been getting up so early, dude, to try and uh, negate this time change that you, got, you guys have had. We don't go back till the 31st of the month, right? But um, I've been getting up at 4 a.m., to try and uh, negate it. <laughs> so I've I've already changed my clocks. When they go back, I'll be like, man, no bother for me. Oh, go away! They do blow each other up, which is good. Pop. Our sword is crap. We really need to upgrade it. I am gonna really miss not upgrading the um, the spells and the signs. Hello, Bry. I am really gonna miss that because that is my favorite part: is upgrading all the spells and signs and stuff. But we're not gonna do it. We're just going Gold Tree. I didn't know when I fully did Green Tree how good that would be. So I'll try not to complain about it. Until I try it out. The quest here where you get to chat with Roach is pretty ace. Oh, you like that one? That's blood and wine, isn't it? I think that's blood and wine. I need to use the potions instead of eating the food because uh, we're going to run out of food fast and we need that for the um, fights, really. The potions always replenish when you sleep, but the food obviously doesn't. Okay. We're nearly there. I love this quest. I might just go through all the dialogue because it's really good. 
I'm gonna go through the dialogue because it's ace. It's one of my favorite quests, so I'm gonna do it all. Oh no, there's quite a lot of them now. Oh, the bees have got, the bees have, okay, we've got bees as well. Who would have thunk? <sighs> Oh no. Ah, there's a lot of them now. There's a lot of them now. Oh, shit. Is that bees or is that dust? I can't tell. Dust. Ooh. Too many. Too many. Too many dickheads. Everything just wears off so fast. Yeah, Roach is immortal. Yeah, Roach is really funny. Because in the books and in the game, she's always a mare. But in that quest that Danny's talking about, she's uh, it's a it's a male. It's a really funny quest. Woodland spirit with the lesion in Skellige. Oh, isn't that the really hard decision you have to make? I'm going to die. Isn't that the really hard decision you have to make between helping the villagers and then um, helping the lesson? Because that's one achievement that I don't have because I always did the good option. But because we're doing this playthrough, we'll get with the evil option. You get to blow up a megaton, do you? See, I on Fallout, Kirk, I went, not the bees. The bees. I think we've got, we've got that. I should have that as a sound effect, shouldn't I? Um, I'm gonna have to like meditate because I'm dying. Bloody hell. Okay. If you use too many potions, you uh, you die because your toxicity builds up. Okay. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, in Fallout 4, I went with the evil option. I went with the, uh, what are they called? Because the whole point is you're supposed to be finding your son, right? And we know that um, he's, he's got by the... Um... Oh, is it the Institute? I think it's the Institute, isn't it? So I always went with the Institute, because I was like, well, if we're trying to be finding the son, that's who's got him, eh? Carson did a bit of Fallout, actually, before he... Um when he was doing his last streams. For FPS month, he did fall out, I think. Those are bees. Those are bees, Matt. Oh my God, there's a lot of them. Dude, okay, I'm just gonna run through these guys. It's a donkey donkeyless. I don't know how I'm setting the bees off. We're supposed to be finding Timmy. Oh, that was so funny. I wish, right, that after we'd built, it would have come up on the screen because that would be so funny. I wonder if I could find that clip. As soon as we, hang on, as soon as we finish the, um, the gazebo, it was like, like a, an achievement popped up and it was like, you're supposed to be finding Timmy. You're supposed to be looking for Timmy. Let me see if I can find it. I just wish it'd come up on the screen. There is a setting you can do where you do get like pop-ups appearing on the screen in Streamlabs. But that was so funny. I've lost so much work when my drive died. But I think I've still got that. Let's hope so. I've lost so much. So much. I usually back up like my, um, my, my editing work to a thumb drive every month but i was like just before doing that so i've lost a month of work but whatever whatever oh, i've got so many funny ones from um from the forest man we're gonna do sons if you've got twitch points put them into like the goal if you've got like channel points on twitch put them into the goal on twitch because if we reach the 50k we'll um we'll uh do the uh, do a Sons of the Forest like marathon stream. Found it. I'm dying. Oh wow, that's a that's a I lot need of get, stuff. I need, I need to get fireplace going. Fuck. We have a finished gazebo. You should be. <laughs> Did you get that achievement? <laughs> Did anyone else okay. get that 
achievement for the gazebo. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just get that pop up on the screen? I don't even think that the stream will have seen that. There was an achievement that popped up on the bottom of the screen that said, You're supposed to be looking for Timmy! <laughs> Did it really? Get an achievement Instead complete of building the gazebo. Build a gazebo. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, well, then, you know. Timmy, gazebo, <laughs> six of one, half dozen uh, the other. You're supposed to be looking for Timmy! Achievement, build a gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, and all the traps. They managed to conjure the concept of primeval forest in that quest. Oh, for the Leshen quest. Uh, is, that, is that the one, Danny, where you've got a decision where you can side with the villagers... Or you can side with the old guy in the lesson. Is that the same one? Because that's the achievement I don't have. Because I always side on the good side, I think. And I never get the other one. Oh, do you remember when we all made those? Well, I say we. I mean me. Made all the traps. And uh, people just walked into them. <laughs> yeah. And Cole, when he went down his... <laughs> Oh shit, when Cole went down his little uh, hole and he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, d I'm dead. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, oh, here's the traps. Yeah, I made loads of traps and everyone, including me, just walked into them. My god. <laughs> what? I just know it's going to kill one of us. <laughs> it's not. Definitely not. Uh, revolve. Revolve! 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 Aha! Revolve! Re revolve! 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 Ah! Excellent! Excellent! Ten minutes to nine shots just up. Is it? Shit! Yep. Yeah. Shh, bollocks! Bollocks! Oh, I need hey, more shit. Hey, if I did, <laughs> you, you get too into it, you lose track of time, and then shit goes bad. Yeah, shot. Multiplayer is always just do that. Oh yeah! <laughs> Not seem like an <laughs> ideal spot for this thing. Careful now. <laughs> Pivot! Pivot! Yeah, we all got squashed mainly on there. <laughs> In the traps. I built loads, Kirk, and we all. Uh, I say we all, I mean, I squashed everybody. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. You remember when Cole kept setting himself on fire? Oh, God. One last one. These are so funny. The, no, out in the, the open. Okay, don't look at the, me. I said, don't look. For the, for the fucking record, <laughs> I built these spank shacks because Cole destroyed our fucking second floor. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, I have to go wash the blood off my spank. <laughs> Unfucking real. <laughs> it was for a little chat. What oh. the fuck? Did you light yourself on fire? No, no. so I have such little hope that as soon as it started raining, I became frostbite again. Frostbite. Oh. You keep fucking dying. <laughs> points for um on twitch we'll do the next one poor carson i know <laughs> poor carson i caught carson so many times in the traps <laughs> i caught everybody mainly myself in the traps <laughs> this coal is on fire he was definitely on fire <laughs> yeah so if we complete the star goal we'll do um 
the oh god the channel point thing we'll do like loads of suns for forest we'll do a marathon of it shit it's too dark i can't see what i'm doing uh, Two for one. Two for one. Ooh. Ooh. God, these are not very flammable, I must say. They're not very flammable. I need your essence. Shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again. I said I was gonna go past these lads, I think. Oh no, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh God, get out. I think I'm gonna die because uh, my, my toxicity. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, that's gonna be so difficult. The toxicity is killing me. Oh, dude. But Sons is, uh, Sons of the Forest is a real upgrade on the forest. It's like, um, it really is an upgrade on it. Like the, um, the, uh, the graphics and everything are like an extra level. So it'll be really good. I think we can do it in 12 hours. I don't know. I'm sure Kelly can do it in 12 hours. <laughs> I'm positive that Kelly can do it in 12. Okay, I'm just going to run past these lads because we'll be here all day. Bees! Oh no! Why did I have the crossbow? Well, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so much for running past them. I shot them with the crossbow instead of using the... Um, what I wanted to use. Oh, fucking water hag. These are really tricksy, these ones, because they blind you by chucking stuff at you. And you do get stuck on stuff. Oh, ghouls as well. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Not. Not. You suck. The bees! The bees! Water hags aren't easy to get. They've always been tricksy, the water hags. I remember the first time I encountered them, they were difficult to deal with. They really don't like fire, though. Really don't like it. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you've got to fire them. You've got to use the fire. Eh, I dodged that. Come on. <laughs> if those bloody ghouls don't come in, I'll try not to shoot them when I'm running at them this time. <laughs> try not to aggro them as I'm going in. Oh, you're kidding me! Look, pissed off! Go away! No, leave me alone! Punch! I don't know why I'm punching it to death. I wonder whether a fist-only run would be possible with this game. I bet you could if you were really uh, determined enough. If you were determined enough, I bet you could do like a fist-only. If I come across a horse race, I've got to do it because we want the fucking. <laughs> we really want the money. Just run. 
run. Don't aggro the ghouls. Go the other way. Go the other way. Don't. Don't. No. 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 Definitely not. Definitely not. No. 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 Phew. Okay. I don't think I've aggroed them, which is good. Now just the water hag, which we've got to kill. What the hell? Three shots and you're done in Witcher usually. I like that silver. Three and then you need to leave. Like more than three shots you rarely ever get. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, I wasn't anywhere near that. There's no such thing as I framed in this, I don't think. <laughs> Bollocks. Nearly got her. I'm nearly got her. <laughs> I love the yodeling. The yodeling is my favorite part. Come on, you bitch. Oh. <laughs> On normal as well. On what? On what? Normal is fine. Normal is fine. Nightmare is just difficult. Although I'm doing, these quests are like above my level. Like you see when you go into like, um, hang on. When you go into quests, on the top right, that's my level, level four. And this one's a level six. And they usually mean it. <laughs> they usually do mean it. Three hits. Yeah, three hits and then out. Yeah, more or less. If you're attacking three things, three hits and out. Unless you use like a sign on them to paralyze them, three hits and out is your best bet. You don't tend to get more than three in. Okay, he took my sword off me as well. <laughs> he was like, yoink. Yeah, three three hits and out in Witcher usually. Unless, uh, maximum of. Maximum of. Things like Toad Prince, when we did Toad Prince on like Massacre's level, where we did um nothing, like no magic stuff at all. No signs, no potions, no nothing. We did it just with sword. That was, um, hang on, I'm gonna save after this so we don't have to do this again. That was one hit and out. Oh, for feck's sake, piss off. Okay, get somewhere So <laughs> Smack down. We need to get out. Yeah, we were just hitting him like once and then backing off. And it took like 20 minutes of that to take out the Toad Prince with the sword alone. And I was like leveled to fuck too. Okay, I'm just going to go and hide in the swamp. Hide in the swamp. There we go. Okay, now save it. Okay, there we go. Don't have to do that again. Good. We do have to get the hag out because uh, if you don't kill her, I don't think you can get into the tower. <laughs> recovered as well so hang on. now this now this put your potions on Three 
three, and then she hits back. So three and out. stuff that you collect from the monsters is really useful oh that's why I haven't got a torch because we got the lamp okay we've got the lamp I think there's some stuff in this cabin around the side I think. like all the venom and things you extract from them that's how you make better potions so really you need to kill like as many like monsters as possible Okay, cool. We're at the aisle now, which is sweet. I'll do all the dialogue in here because it's really good. All the dialogue in this is awesome. Locked. Other side, maybe? It's such it's such a good storyline, this. Let's try and get the full thing. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. There was like a there was like a peasant revolt because of the plague. The place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on. So this was like the manor house on the isle, and um, the uh, the peasants from the isle came to complain about the plague. Let's try Kira's land. Where's that noble? Are you trying to find the ghosts? Where's that noble? Blood. Many must have died here. It's such a good quest. Like the chandeliers and things, like sh like swing. Rich folk, doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. You see, you're starting to find out about where the plague actually came from. Rich folk, doubt I'll. Rich folk, doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. As you walk around, all like the um, everything like uh, is haunted, so it all shakes. But yeah, so these are all like rat cages here. And when you see like this shiny uh, mirror, that's where you use the lamp on to see the ghosts. Where's that noble? The way that everything's highlighted, that's me Where's using that my noble? Witcher vision. Lying here, quiet as a man. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him and the daughter to the top. Oh, we leveled up. Sweet. Maybe I can put something else in the gold tree. <laughs> but I would recommend first playthrough do red tree because a lot of the stuff on the red tree is awesome. Um, but green is the most powerful because you can take endless like poisons and concoctions and not die and you like heal really quickly so gold is amazing
green tree is is the most powerful. I didn't know that. I only did. I did red and blue. Well, back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'm not hearing them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Yeah, I did red and then I did blue. Blue is the signs. Red is just a uh, like combat power. Blue is the signs and green is the poisons. But green is really, really uh, powerful. Hello, David. How are you? Welcome in, Raiders. What have you been doing? What now, you piece of filth? Good to see you. Thank you for the raid, Dan. We're doing Witcher, but we're doing evil Geralt run through. It's really difficult. Oh, hello, Carson. Oh, Carson, honestly, this uh, this playthrough is really hard to do. I've just been showing you getting squashed by the traps. <laughs> oh, he was doing Metal Gear. I've only ever done one Metal Gear solid. You see how stuff, like, moves around because it's haunted? It's really cool. It's really well done. And like I say, bearing in mind what age this game was when it first came out, it's beautiful. Yeah, I was just showing you getting squashed by all the traps <laughs> in uh, Sons of the Forest. We were following the ghost around the house here to find out what happened. Kira is not telling the full truth, is uh, all I'll uh, ruin it with. She, she knows more than she's letting on. Yeah, we were showing you getting squashed. Gold! Piles of it! I won't do the dead any good. Gold! Piles of it! I won't do the dead any good now, will it? Strangers still here. The nobles died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Yeah, I, it was sort of my fault, Carson, I suppose. <laughs> I built all the traps and sort of <laughs> lined the entire base with them. But yeah, on Twitch now, you should be able to use your channel points to pay for the Sons of the Forest marathon if you want. Oh, maybe it is true. Maybe it is true. I know he wanted to do... Didn't he want to do... Um... Isn't he a big... Um... World of Warcraft fan. Didn't he want to do World of Warcraft um, film? Am I thinking, is it World of Warcraft? No. Um, oh, I'm not, no, it's not World of Warcraft. Um, what's the other one? What was the one that Kelly was playing? He's a big fan of that, and he, I know he wanted to do something with that. But yeah, we're following the ghost round the tower. Warhammer, yeah, Warhammer, that's right. Sorry, not World of Warcraft. All the, all the nerds are like, come on, man, nerd point reduced. Hey, my nerd card was stamped when I fixed my PC. It was stamped for a couple of months when I fixed my PC the other day. <laughs> my nerd card was uh, re-stamped. See, there's a lever on the wall. I'm sort of ruining this for you. Yeah, Warhammer, yeah, it was Warhammer, yeah. I know he's a big Warhammer fan. I'm sort of ruining where all the stuff is. But all those levers on the wall, they all look the same in every part of the game. So if you see one of them, pull it. Looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. It's such a grim quest, this. It's horrific. See, I'm picking up like potions and stuff there. He's a space marine, is he? Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. See, the mage in the tower actually bred the bred the plague. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. 
Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I were hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not healing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved God. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and your beloved failed to save you. Thank you, Garson. There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. Before I later awoke, I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens, hundreds, and I couldn't move. Sleeping potion, effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere, all over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Yeah, other specters. No, I'm alone here. The others, they fear Hello, Dotty. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. 
You're different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. Hello, Neil. Oh, it's so good. This is one of my favorite quests, Carson. Hello, Dotty, she's here. I won't ruin it for you, Kate. I won't ruin it for you, but everything is not quite as it seems. Kira isn't fully telling the truth. How are you? How are you, Neil? Hello, Dotty. You've arrived. We've missed you. It's so good. It's such a good game. I'm doing all the dialogue in this quest because it's one of my favorites, but we've been missing a lot of dialogue just to push us through the game. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started oh, talking. Oh, did it, Carol? Did it? I don't know oh. what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham. Laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. So, I know that I was supposed to be evil. You're watching Planet of the Apes. <laughs> it reminds me of us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Armin. <laughs> Planet of the Apes, yeah, it's uh, the monkeys. It's the monkeys. <laughs> You've been a busybody, have you? On day four of six in a row, what have you been busybodying? Oh, don't starve. Don't starve together. Are you still playing that, Dotty? What about your sheep simulator? What happened to the sheep simulator? <laughs> I live on a sheep farm, so I don't need any more sheeps. But uh, yeah, we're supposed to be evil, Geralt, but we are gonna just, we're gonna do this quest, A, because it's awesome, and B, because actually fucking monkeys, um, and B, because uh, we wanna, we wanna get Kira into bed, so that's my, uh, Sheepy is not a sheep simulator. <laughs> it definitely sounds like a sheep simulator. <laughs> Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. What a shitty way to die. Okay. So, yeah. The mage was doing human experiments and he sort of created the Catriona Plague. And uh, the peasants were all starving. And raided this manor house and then you know what happens next work 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 man. oh right okay you've been i thought you said you a uh, busybody i thought you meant you've been being nosy <laughs> you've been doing work yeah yeah i know the way okay we want to get the kira quest where we get that uh, picnic where we're sexually assaulted so <laughs> we're gonna help we're gonna help annabelle in the tower 
But this is definitely one of my favorite quests. It's dark as fuck, isn't it? It is dark AF. I, remember, I can't remember what happens if we pull this lever. Hang on. Can I not pull them? Are there two levers? Huh. Okay. Strange. <laughs> you found a herd of Carsons. You found a herd of Carsons. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I was playing that bit before Carson where you got squat where you I, you got squashed in one of my traps. <laughs> and the gazebo, the secret achievement for the gazebo, that was ace. I really, really do want to play the next one. I really, really want to play Suns. So we have to go. Um, we have to go to Graham and give the bones to Graham. They're offering a two thousand sign-on bonus. Are they? What for the work? Really? So you do more hours and they give you more st more money? That sounds good, mate. Why not? Why not if the money's good? I remember the days when I used to make uh, like double and triple time <laughs> for stuff. Okay. So we now go here and chat to old Graham. I'm, I won one Gwent game today and then got slaughtered by Barnabas again. <laughs> Asphalt really, cause yeah, do that, mate. Do that. Working on the roads. You might as well make money while you can. I would definitely do that, Neil. Make money while you can, man. Dave once... <laughs> he feels terrible about it now, right? But Dave once got picked up by some uh, gypsies, right? who uh, said that they wanted him to make some, like, did he want to make some quick money, right? So <laughs> he ended up going and helping them uh, lay, like, an inch thick of tarmac on old people's drives. It was horrendous. He said he lasted one day and he was like, fuck this, because it was so dodgy. But yeah, they, you know, preying on old people, turning up saying, do you want your drive tarmacked? And they put like an inch of it on. It would look really good. Couple of, a couple of days later, ruined. You know, a couple of months later, it would all just crack. Yeah, I'm, you getting uh, you getting sparked out by the traps is uh, wicked. Oh, and there's, oh, I found the one where Cole gets, uh... <laughs> oh, here's some more traps. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, but you can. Um, the command doesn't work anymore. What of the clips now? God no! Oh look, I've made it. Whatever this oh, is. I don't. I that's what I think it is. I don't know what it is. What does it do? You see that figure four? Yeah. Stand, stand underneath it and head of the kick. The what? This bit? The sticks? Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Um, I better reset that. That's a good one. Oh! <laughs> you fucking hell. Now that one's been blown. It's alright. We're going to have to reset that one now. Careful now. <laughs> How big do you think Kelly's gonna make his base when we do Suns? <laughs> we won the gazebo! That was such a test success, you right? <laughs> it definitely worked. But yeah, if you've got, like, channel points on Twitch, you can donate 2,000 of them a day towards the goal, and then you can, um, if we get the 50k, we'll do the marathon. The Marathon Sons of the Forest stream. I hope we can do it in um, in 12 hours. He 
he's known for big faces. He's known for big. He's certainly known for big weapons. <laughs> he used to be so shy about it. He's not shy about it anymore. <laughs> Yesterday, he was like, "I hope your jaw could diss the game." <laughs> be half a mile long yeah. okay we just need to no we don't want no 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 none of you lot no don't want you no feck off look feck off oh god look feck off man not bad. What now, you piece of filth? What now, you piece of filth? It does go, like, in your advantage for killing all these things. Although I've put enemy upscaling on, and really in this area, these things wouldn't be um, that hard to kill. But I've got enemy upscaling on, so everything is hard to kill. <laughs> But it's fine, I'm getting me Witcher Groove back. Oh shit. What now, you piece What now, you piece of filth? Oh the hot tub. Did we build a hot tub? Oh, in Valheim. Yeah, yeah, we had a hot tub in Valheim. Well, Kelly's hot tub in Valheim. That he wouldn't let anybody else use. Eight and a half inches. <laughs> There's a firm chance, yeah, I didn't know what to set the amount as. I didn't know what to set the amount as at all. I thought 50k was quite a lot, but in channel points, it's nothing. Because I can't tell how many channel points, because because I own the channel, it just says infinite. It's just got the infinity symbol, so I don't actually know how many it is. But uh, I think you said you had 20k on your own or something, didn't you? Okay, let's try not to engage any more enemies. Let's try not to engage enemies, please. No, thank you. I don't trust that bludger. What bludger? Are you playing Ark, are you? Faster. <laughs> Nursery for cannibals. Uh, Kelly will just... The thing is, because we're doing it marathon... He won't have any time to do his little, um, his grinding in the background, so we'll have to see. He won't have any grinding time, so. I need to get some upgrades on some swords, because my swords are so crap. So, so crap at the minute, it's not good. I need a better Witcher sword, bad. Graham! Sleep me as Graham. Peasant. Oh. oh! Peasant. Peasant. I want to talk. You death, damn it! I told you! Who are you? I'm a witcher. What are they? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Just doing all the dialogue in this, because it's a really good story. Did you love her? Oi, something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father. No wonder he went, oh. His daughter in a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. Twere Millie, Finch and Faulkner. 
They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me, seeing as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle, for me, to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. For his, then she drank the poison. The mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Oh, well, I'd, I'd marry him in a cinch. I'd marry him in a cinch. He's so, he's so beautiful. He's such a beautiful bunch of pixels. Oh, God. Um, can any of the Americans tell me what accent this NPC has got? I wonder whether any of you know what accent this is. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. Yeah, it is. It is, Carson. Rats. But you're not allowed she to guess. She warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time. But... Can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I'd have noticed she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. <laughs> yeah, well done, Kate. It is, it's a Bristolian accent. Yeah. And Bristol is uh Uor. Bristol is very Uor and uh is sort of um sort of just past the it's, it's down south but it's not as far as London. But it's very Uor and it's kind of off to the uh the west country or it's very Uor. Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But what can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are... her bones? Yes. Bones. <laughs> Those are her bones, are they? <laughs> Those are her bones, are they? <laughs> I better bury them, I must. <laughs> Bristolian, yeah. Okay, so now we need to go and see Kira, and uh, we get the sexy picnic now, I think. See, I sort of did do good Garrick there. Do good Ugh. Geralt. See, he did love her, and she, he thought she was poisoned to death. But no, she was paralyzed and uh, she was eaten to, she was eaten alive by rats. So no wonder she's pissed. <laughs> you would be as well. I don't know what these Nilfgaard soldiers are doing here. Oh, oh no, I forgot about that. And now she's free. Totally forgot about Graham. Shit, if you leave Graham. Oh no. Shit. 
Graham! She kills Graham. A girl in plated flowers. Looks like a small shrine. You see the rats? Yeah. So Graham is uh, no more. <laughs> I forgot about, I forgot that he, she comes and kills him. I forgot about that. I thought it was going to be all, uh, no, we're only doing evil Carol. I don't know whether there's a way to save him, Dotty. I don't know. I think as soon as you leave that hut, you die, I think. Uh, right, okay. I, th I don't think that, I don't know whether there's a way to save Graham. Um, but we want to go to Oriton because we need to go and get the sexy picnic with Kira. But Kira hasn't told us the whole truth, and I don't know when we find that out, but Kira's got something to do with this story. I don't know whether we find it out much later. notice boards this is where you get your witcher contracts from so any that have got like a little like seal underneath um pick those up some of the like stuff on the notice board is really funny i won't read them all because there's no time in this playthrough but some of them are really funny i don't know i don't know how to if we can save him abandoned him you reckon you can save him i don't know whether we can save him danny do you know whether you can save him i don't know whether you can i think you all well every playthrough i've done i think he died hang on uh we've got to go and meet kira now she isn't far away follow me the wrong thing We've got to go and se sexually <laughs> ratted him out. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I don't know why she kills him because, although she doesn't seem to be aware that she can leave the island, does she? I don't. She, she's aware of that, but she is terrorizing people in the local area. So I don't know whether she did it intentionally or not. But I'm pretty sure that uh, that is the only way that pans out. Maybe I'm wrong. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you failed. She's a pesta. You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. Giggity, giggity, goo. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay what just now? a bit longer. Hello, Dan. There's one small favor you might yet do Thank for me. Thank you for the like, mate. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was God, due to be here yesterday, one. but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Fine. Why not? If we he have was to get the package Novigrad, before we get the dirty Black picnic. Bell. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Oh, oh I'm alright, Armin. I've got my 
shitty job today, so I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but apart from that, it's all right. Ask a service. Oh, the Pella again. I didn't realize we saw him again. To say, what do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rights to conduct. We're doing Wandering Forefather's Eve as well. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. He can kiss her to break the truth, the curse. How? How do you do that? How do you get her to how do you get him to go to the aisle and kiss her? Do you just not give the bones to him? Don't have any time for this, mate. We're only evil Geralt. We're not helping your forefathers. Can't Eve. help you just now. But we alone cannot keep <laughs> evil at bay. There's a war on. Got to get him Men's to come blood back. Soaks the earth. The tower. The damned are it wander in great numbers. Ponder it. The Pella will pay ye. Should ye need him, the Pella in his hut you'll find. I don't know whether I've got a save that I can do that with. Refuse to bring the bones. Oh, you've got to refuse to bring the bones. Right, okay, hang on. Let's see if I've got a checkpoint. Okay, let's try, let's try it because I've never done this. Let us try and do that. While searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, he's Geralt always died that way in my playthrough. Sorceress told the Witcher about a. So we refuse to take the bones Sirius from her, yeah? In his hideout, the Witcher okay. set off to find it with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven. I didn't think there was another way to do it, Dot. Had the ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost until Kira gave him a new lead. Don't you go and put your um go and put your Twitch channel points into that big goal. You could put 2k a day. Go and put your Twitch channel points into that goal. Okay, so we just refuse. Okay, hang on. We just refuse to um take them off her. Okay. Don't start, Annabelle. Back. And I thought, you know, the notes that Kira wants. I thought they were in the tower. I thought they were actually in the tower, but are they not? Because I thought I searched everywhere. I had no idea there was another way. Bringing the bones off the aisle breaks the curse, but frees the plague to roam the lands. Right, okay. Yeah, use your channel points for the big, um, for the big goal. So we just say no, we're not going to take the bones, okay. We've got to go and get Graham and bring him here. Neither of it, neither of them end well, you say. <laughs> okay. Hello, Donna. Good morning, how are you? We're just going back, Donna, to uh, see what happens if I do this uh, quest differently. There's his note log. I did have that. But if you give it to Kira, it's not particularly good. You've only got 6k points left now. Have you? I thought you had loads and loads. Carson's got like 20k. How are you, Donna? Okay, we were. Hang on, leave? let's skip it because we've just done this. Um, but we refuse to take the bones. Okay. I'm a witch. I want to live. Tell me what. Okay. I didn't know this was an the option. Lord. What? Didn't trust. Only rumors. <laughs> Did the poison sleeping? Your beloved, maybe. Okay. You 
As I see, my I don't remember an option to say we wouldn't take them. I... It could be okay. your... Okay, so we haven't now. taken it. Need to look around first. Oh, he didn't sleep what through them. Thought? Yeah. Not you know what ends well? What what don't ends well? Them again. I'll come back for you. You can be sure. Okay, so we're saying we're coming back. So we go and see Graham now. Come back soon. Don't keep me waiting. Okay. This is interesting. I did not know this was an option. say about my shit job Armin there are good points about it it's more or less impossible to get sacked because nobody gives a damn <laughs> you could be as rude as you want to the customers I mean I'm not but you could be because nobody gives a shit um, and um, maybe we can just drop down here and uh, I get free Greg's which is the only reason I'm still there you know that, don't you, Donna? At the end of my shift at the garage, I get free Greg's, which is the best part of the whole job. Um, but a couple of times they've not don't, given me them, right? Don't stop! Don't start, Annabelle. Back. A couple of times they haven't. Oh, thank you, Armin. Cheers, mate. Free Greg's, yeah. Greg's is like a bakery. Thank you, Armin. Cheers, mate. Thank you so much. That goes to, your cash apps go towards paying for people's prizes, so thank you so much, mate, seriously. Right, okie dokie. Greg's, uh, Greg's is, uh, well, it's funny, you know, right? Greg's is a baker's. The door? He wished to leave, as Graham did. What do you want? No more lies, no more deceit. You will stay here for all time. You will never leave. What? Why are we killing her? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was not prepared for this. Beads! I was not prepared for this! Whoa! Hang on. Greg's the other day. Yeah, Greg's is like a baker's. Oh, we don't have to kill her. Okay. Follow the plague maiden. Oh, we can kill her. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Should we kill her? Because I can? That must be a third option. I think if we kill her, we don't get this kiss from Graham. We'll not, we'll not kill her. I'll try not to. Oh, they're flies. They're not wasps, they're flies. I thought they were bees. Defeat the plague, Megan, it says. It says defeat her, it won't let me leave. I think she's just gonna follow me around. Hang on. Let's just try and, I'll try and just feck off. Maybe that'll work. gonna keep coming at me okay
should kill her or not, man. Suppose, suppose we are, but she won't leave me alone. Oh, you cannot kill her. Okay, okay. Well, she just said we can't kill her. It sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. Oh God, he looks so Have sexy with his poison marks. God, I would climb him. Before you lunged at her, sword in hand. I would climb him yeah, right now. we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. Okay. Interesting. Oh, for feck's sake, just leave me alone, you stupid knobhead. Go away. Go away. Talk to Graham, okay. Don't let Roach die. Roach is immortal. We'll be okay. Roach just gets stuff on, stuck on things. I don't think Roach is even on the island. I think he's trotting about near uh, one of the villages. I wonder whether you can get him into the onto this island. I bet you can. He's uh, look, just piss off, ghouls. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to kill him. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to kill him. I don't really want to. Damn it, enemy upscaling. You put it on, you say, I know. Oh. Woof. Shit settled down. Oh, I'm glad it's sorted out. What a what a terrible thing though. Have you got everything sorted? It's very it's it's such it's so difficult to sort uh funerals and stuff my god right okay so now we need to go and talk to graham here to rack up the points he's got 20k i don't know how he's got 20K. is it because i made you an artist maybe it's because i made you an artist beast devourer I made you into an artist. Okay, now we talk to Graham. Maybe he won't die. Let's see. I, oh shit, it's not Elden Ring. Don't press B. <laughs> Don't press B, it's not Elden Ring. Press A. Okay. Giving me no choice. What? Giving me no choice? What? Talk dirty to me, Geralt. Talk dirty to me, baby. Um, whoa. Where's the... Ooh, shit! No! No! No, 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 no. Roach, you'll have to run away. Oh, right. Okay, you have so many. I know you do. Put your sword away, mate. Where's Graham? Where's Graham? Oh, we're going to have to swim it. <laughs> we're going to have to swim it. Maybe I can just steal the hag's treasure. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can just steal it. It's fine. Just steal it. It's fine. You, you don't even have to beat it. <laughs> just steal the treasure. Maybe it's because I made you an artist. Target. Uh, you can't target one, it doesn't seem. Like, I couldn't target... Um... It seems like you can only use the targeting on when there's multiple. Cardio simulator. Well, he's definitely, uh, he definitely hasn't been missing back day. Oh, look at them shoulders. Oh, I would ride those shoulders all day. Reminds you of Highlander. <laughs> well, it will do when we get to, uh, oh, you're fucked. Oh, use 
a sign. Woo! Bandits. You wouldn't tackle a witcher, would you, if you were in this game? You wouldn't tackle a witcher, would you? If you come across a witcher with like the the witches are oh, the witches are the ones with the double swords, you wouldn't. He's fucking conjuring again. You wouldn't tackle him, would you? You'd be like, yeah, all right then, mate. You take monsters down for a living, like we'll leave you alone. Piss off, or you still got legs. Money shot! Oh, I love those auto finishes. Yeah, it'll look even more like Highlander when we get to um, Skellige. Skellige is so beautiful. Do you remember I used the Skellige music for. Um... Hold, please. What? <laughs> um, for Fantasy Month. Do you remember? I can't remember what's in here. Oh, this is the troll. I were doomed. You's the one brought soured wine. Curse is your fault as much as mine. Now we're gonna have to be evil on this. And I don't know what happens when we're evil, but let's see. I don't know what happens when we're evil on this. This is the troll. So we go down here. See the villagers are complaining that their uh, what they offered wasn't enough. What? Oh no, he's not a troll. He's one of the. Oh yeah. Divine being. He's uh, he's Mr. Nips. Geralt of Rivia, pleasure. Who the hell are you supposed to be? Harry Nips. The local peasant folk call me the All God. Can think of quite a few other more fitting nicknames. Now you listen to me, Witcher. Have you no other duties, missions? Swamp's dangerous. Got a share of true terrors. Ten to them. I am no one. Farewell. Oh, that's odd. That's odd. I thought we just killed him. Okay, so we only want Gwent money. That's all we care about. Piggyback. Yeah, no, I want to. I want to ride him the other way. <laughs> What are you doing here? What? This sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the All God, clearly. Ah, right. Know him. Personally, even. Tain't true, is it? You've seen him with your own gawkers. Even though the stairwell is just round the corner, they've never seen him. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mark us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times. Such are the times. Worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. Can't help you at the moment. Except with a bit of advice. Find a god who prefers incense to bacon. Um, and I suppose we want to kill him. Because, uh, let me think. We might as well kill him. Because we want, uh, we want the money. So. What? Who dares disturb my divine We want the money, though. Been in this hole long? For a century or so? One winter, I found shelter here. Built a fire so large, the flames leapt through the crack, lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke, and suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus, I became a god. Parasite, more like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and Melitale, then, hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, given naught in return. I talk at least. Farewell. <laughs> we can't kill him! Oh no! We can't. Okay. And we haven't been we haven't been offered any money. 
So, uh, Geralt doesn't give a shit. Geralt doesn't care. <laughs> okay. If no, if somebody doesn't offer us money, we're not interested. <laughs> Evil Geralt doesn't care. I did try and kill him for his part, but it wouldn't let me do it. Evil plans thwarted, I know. No, Wolfies, no, no, Mr. Wolf. No, no, I don't know. I don't care what time it is. I don't care what time it is. Get back in your baskets. Get back in your basket. Oh my god, we're back at. F oh no, it's okay, it's okay. Evil plans thwarted. I know, I wanted to kill him, but we couldn't. Okay. <laughs> Try not to shank this lad. He's got no legs, first of all. Why have you been following me? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Your wish is my command. Didn't want nothing. It's his mother. Oh no, you haven't put him. me on to. <laughs> he came back from the aisle. <laughs> to I wanted to be the other way round. Brains, I reckon. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to be the other way round. Oh. I want to talk. You deaf damn it! I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. It's a bit rough. <laughs> I want to ride him the other way. <laughs> what do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It's where Millie, Finch and Faulkner, they rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. On the way, image. But then she drank the poison. Is it in the group chat, is it? Mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really after him in that image, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm really after him. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. <laughs> he looks scared. <laughs> he she... looks really scared. You said you spoke to her. Spoke to a ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses and rats. Oh, it's safe for work. I'll show you it. I'll show you. I have to go to my profile. Alive. She was alive the whole time. But can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... Annabelle I'll do this and then I'll show you, you it. Help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. God, she hates me. And all this what time, now? she thought I ran. Hello, Grizz. Good morning, yes. mate. Go to the tower. Talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. 
Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Okay. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. He's ready. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Let's I've go never to done this. I've never done this before. I'll show you. Well, do you get, Carson, when you try to write anything that is slightly risque? The AI is just like, oh, no, we ain't, we ain't um, rendering that. And I think, I think there's just so much porn on the internet and hentai and all that that I just think even something very tame, I think the engine could turn into something really, like, dodgy. Hang on, my ears hurt. I think the um, the engine has the possibility to turn it into something really bad. So anything like slightly seductive that you might write into the engine, it's just like, oh hell no, we ain't we ain't rendering that. <laughs> Links in the comments. What to the photo? Oh, did you put it on Facebook? Did you? Okay, <laughs> I'll show you it now. I'll just have to go into my Facebook. <laughs> I've never done this option, but like you say, it did look like there was another option to this, but I've only ever had it where he got what ratted. Now, Hello, Harry. I've only ever had it where I leave. Is there, have you put it on the page? Have you? I've only ever had it where I leave and I, I hear him screaming and I go back and he's... um. <laughs> look at the... F look at the hands. Oh, the secret hands. It just perfs the shit out of you. AI engine is based on Ryan's brain. The hat, oh, the creepy AI hands. It's getting better, but it, it like, it's not sure how many fingers it's supposed to have. Hang on. <laughs> I really, God, he, he, God, he's so sexy. Uh, I don't know what medallion this is. If you were fighting monsters, you would not have a medallion. If you were fighting anyone, you wouldn't have a necklace on. The first thing anyone would do that was fighting you would be just be fucking grab it and just fucking twist it. You know, you wouldn't fight anyone with a big necklace. That'd be the first thing I did to anybody. I'd just grab it and just, like, grot them with it. But, yeah, have you seen the mad hands there? Hang on, can I zoom in? How do I zoom in? Oh, fuck's sake. No, it's not going to do it. But here, there's some nuts hands going on. Eyes. Well, they get them much better. Grab it and twist it. You would, though, wouldn't you? If somebody, if you were fighting somebody with, like, a big necklace on, you'd just fuck it. You know what I mean? You'd just, you'd have them. Like, you know, you can choke someone out in a minute. Or less than, especially if, like, they're hyperventilating and it's panicky. You can choke someone out in, like, 30 seconds. So, you like it because it vibrates. Me too. <laughs> Me too, but for different reasons. <laughs> Plus, they're like witches, so they're not witches. They're, they're humans, but they've had uh, a magic potion. But this is me, apparently, on Geralt's back. I, I said I wanted to be the other way around on his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, you would just fucking garrot them with it. You can choke someone out really fast. I mean, if someone's totally calm, it would take like a minute, but Usually when you're fighting somebody, they're not. So they'll usually pass out in like 30 seconds. Come on then, Graham. Graham! Graham! Oh, I don't know what happens here. What? Who said we're doing this? This, place because of you. this is definitely harder. This is definitely a harder uh, way to do this. 100%. Defo. All these wraiths and things? For revenge. And now he comes to us on his own. Don't be afraid. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid. I think you should definitely be afraid. Oh, okay. Graham should definitely be afraid. Where did Graham come from? We could have been together and now... Graham, where did you come from? And it's my fault. He 
only I'd been able to protect her. If only. Change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. I do like a. Uh, I can vibrate his pendant on me any day. Chop, chop, speed up. Let's get this over with. This is definitely the evil Geralt version, I reckon. Now it's silent. Don't know. They're dead. All dead. Don't think about that. Keep walking. I don't know what's gonna happen. Graham, are you coming? Graham! Let's go, Graham! <laughs> We had some. We had a cereal called Golden Graham's. Oh man, Chris, do you remember? Do you remember Sharky and George, the Crime Busters of the Sea? Did you have that in America, guys? Chris must remember Sharky and George. Off the rats. No, I don't think we need to. I don't want to kill the little squeakers. It's their island now. You must remember Sharky and George. That was my favorite. Um, you have Golden Grahams. Oh, maybe it is Americans. It must be, actually, it's Kellogg's. Of course you've got it. Of course you've got it. Kellogg, Kellogg's brothers were um, American. You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is, is, is that? <laughs> The one you abandoned, remember? Really? I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would you. You know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Very tonguey. Very tonguey. Kiss me. Graham, careful. At last. The curse is lifted. I never knew that quest line existed. That's totally new to me. You use crushed grains to make pie crust. Oh, that sounds delicious. For uh, cheesecake, we would use something called a digestive biscuit, which I know that Americans are like, what? What's a digestive biscuit? But we would use like digestive biscuits for that. Okay, Graham is fucked. I thought the notes were in here. Yeah, she killed him. She killed him, but it's fine. I thought the notes were in here. Okay, okay. You setting up for breakfast? suppose it no no it's the, it's like 2 a.m. isn't it 2 a.m. in America I think America land sad people it's sad method this method kills a lot less people sad music man So when we took her bones to over the uh, to Graham, she was released. Was she? We might as well let the ratties have their island. So it released her, yeah. Oh, it's 1 a.m. in California. 
4 a.m. Right, so that's side to side. So there's three hours side to side, and then you're right in the middle, Danny, aren't you? Sad, sad music for doing that quest. That was really interesting. I've never done that quest. It's 4 a.m. for Ontario. So are you... Are you coastal then? How far down the coast are you, Kurt? Come, Ontario is one of the ones that I can't place. Right, okay, so that's why she was freed, okay. Well, interesting. Had you done that one before, Danny? Had you ever done that? Because that is not a logical, like, um, like, dialogue tree at all, is it? Have you ever done that one? That is not a logical dialogue tree. Refusing to take her bones is a weird thing to do. North of the US. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, um, he's Canada. But how far down the coast are you? Well, I suppose up. I suppose it goes up. My man went to see the witch again. If it weren't for our Pharaoh, my best friend who I grew up with um, lives in Calgary. Ah. Since me husband went to work, does he sit outside? He went to go and be a physio in Calgary. He always sends me videos of like the, the bobcats and things around the neighborhood, which is amazing. I can never place Ontario. My geography of the US is better than Canada, definitely. Nova Scotia is the coast, and then Newfoundland. So, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and parts of New Brunswick. I thought Newfoundland. Freak of nature. Has <laughs> Newfoundland lots of Things islands? Scum. You're not stand for this. I'm gonna have to look it up because uh, I hate not knowing geography. I'm gonna have to look it up. Is Newfoundland the one? There's loads of islands. I don't know if Nova Scotia is as well. You're 18 to 20 hours from the coast. Oh, that's crazy. You would be like, uh, you would be like up and down the UK in that. Um, I'm going to have to look it up because I hate not knowing. Uh, the, I'm terrible with the geography of Canada. Um, let me have a look. Canada goose. No, I don't want to buy a Canada goose coat. No, thank you. Um, let's have a look. I know Nova Scotia's, Nova Scotia's a lot of islands as well, isn't it? But I thought Newfoundland was very islandy. Aha! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, Newfoundland isn't islandy. I'm thinking of further up. New Finland. Is New Finland, is it? Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hang on. I'm looking at the map now. So it's further up that's all kind of broken up into islands and then your Alaska's over that way and Greenland's just right above you. See, this this map looks nuts. This looks like Iceland is right there. See, when Danny went from uh, JFK to London, they go up over the Arctic Circle because of like the curvature of the Earth. It's like the um, quickest way to get there. But that looks like that looks like Iceland is right there. But I think it is. England is so tiny, yeah. Have a Canada goose coat. It's uh, <laughs> They're very unethical Canada goose coats. You have to hear a Canadian pronounce it. Newfoundland. Newfoundland, okay. I'm looking, I'm just looking at the... All right, so hang on. Hang on. So the French bit is over that way. Hang on. My American geography is much better than my Canadian geography. See, Greenland, like, from our map, I mean, you, on your maps, the US is in the middle, right? But for us, the UK is in the middle. So you guys are well off to the left. And, um, like, if I search for a world map here, I'll show you what our maps look like. And obviously, the way that maps are, like, stretched flat kind of distorts how it looks. Um, but we're in the middle. But you guys would be in the middle, isn't it? England is tiny. Hey, you're even fucking tinier, Carson. You're mi you're minuscule, you guys. Northern Ireland is really small. 
Look, I don't want to buy a map. <laughs> I don't want to buy a map. I want to look at an image of one. Thank you very much. Yeah. You see, this is what our um, maps look like. So, well, you know, when you're growing up and you think that um, all maps look the same, but obviously there's the UK there. Oh, well, um, we're in the middle because that's Greenwich Mean Time. And I presume your maps, the um, America is in the middle and we'd be right over the edge here, wouldn't we? Is that right? Your maps are like, have America in the middle? Um, but yeah, it's really distorted because obviously actually Greenland here is sort of like, because obviously this is stretched, so actually it is quite close. Um, and then uh, there's Iceland there, which really doesn't seem far away from the UK. I would say Iceland's pretty close, but it's like Iceland, hop to Green. It looks like nothing, hop to Greenland and then you're in Canada. But uh, I bet that's an enormous fucking distance. Um, what was that? Look? Yeah, okay. So this is Canada, okay. So yeah, there's the French bit down there. Quebec's the French bit. And there's Newfoundland on the edge. Happy Valley Goose Bay. Happy Valley Goose Bay. Is that <laughs> what happens in Happy Valley? And Ga there's St. John's. Okay, so that's where Labradors come from. Oh, I'm thinking of the island of Newfoundland, right? Okay, because that's what Labradors... Did you know that a Labrador is actually technically a St. John's water dog? <laughs> if you've got a Labrador, uh, you can say it's a St. John's water dog. <laughs> okay, because look, Greenland there looks like it's right next to Canada. Maybe it is. I never thought about something. Ireland, the land of Ire, where you fight your neighbours. What? <laughs> No, definitely, definitely nothing to do with that. Hello, Adeline. Uh, <laughs> well, um, Giant's Causeway, there were, well, the, the legend is Giant's Causeway. There were two giants, weren't there, Carson? Carson, or no, Giant's Causeway is Northern Ireland. There was an Irish giant, wasn't there, and an English giant, and they fought. What now, you piece and then, hello, Adeline, they fought. And then I think the Irish giant, like, walked over um the channel not the channel the uh the irish giant walked over the irish sea to the uk and they had a big fight how are they so weak militarily canada because they don't give a shit <laughs> canada never gives a shit there there's a lot of space and very few people and they tend to try and stay out of everything because they're because so, they're smart because <laughs> they're really smart um, but yeah, oh, there's Yellowknife. Okay, there's the Northwest Territories. That's where they're always going in ice road truckers. There's Hudson Bay, which kind of crosses right in the middle. It's really interesting. And there's Alaska. I would love to go to Alaska, but my God. But, um, uh, Rye is in the Yukon. He's like, uh, there's Whitehorse, and he's like further up. Wow. I'm trying to see where, um, because my friend lives in Calgary. I'm trying to think where Calgary is. There's Ontario. There's Ontario. There's where Kirk is. So you are further in. You pass the, and there's Nova, there's Halifax, Nova Scotia. Ah, so Nova Scotia is an island as well. See, I was thinking of the island of Newfoundland, which is up there. I always forget how close Seattle is to the border, but yeah, it is right there. And there's Vancouver. <laughs> A waste of space. There's a lot of space. The Mounties aren't really weak. They're just specialized. <laughs> Gives all our money away. <laughs> Way up. What? About the, the legend of the Giant's Causeway? I thought I was right. You fl flew to drank. Did you? Flew out of Calgary. Yeah, my friend, my friend who I grew up with now lives in Calgary. He's always, I was saying, he's always sending me pictures of the bobcats and things in his neighborhood. You know how, right, okay. <laughs> like, you know how Jason is from Vancouver, right? Okay. And we were like, is that like, you know, how far is Canada? And they were like, well, no, because Carson was not, not our Carson, but um, the other Carson was like, oh, it's not far away. Dude, it is like right on the border there, man. No wonder I thought it was Canada. 
It is beautiful. I mean, when you're young and if you do um, tree surgery, there's always a big thing about go to Canada and do logging because it's an experience, but I would not do it now. So dangerous. So dangerous, but a good experience. There's Quebec. So that's the French bit there. Bloody French. The Nunavut Territories, Northwest Territories, there's the Yukon and there's Alaska. Queen Elizabeth Islands. Wow. <laughs> the very northern point is called Alert. Wow. I would love to go there one day. I would love to see it. But yeah, the Hudson cuts right down. And then what is this the Great Lakes here? Is this is this what was called? Nova Scotia has the part that's connected by the Canso Causeway called Cape Breton. Yeah, the, there it is. It must be there. I can't really zoom in. These are your Great Lakes, aren't they, Americans? Isn't it? Yeah, every every Canadian I've ever met, Chris, has been a really good person. <laughs> every I've, every Canadian I've met has been a sensible person, I must say. Is that right? Are these the Great Lakes here? Is that what I'm looking at down here, these lakes in um, in America? Is that what you call your Great Lakes, yeah? Yeah, that's the Great Lakes, I thought so. Right, okay. I didn't realise they were that far north. Because what's your biggest one? Um, uh, what's your biggest biggest of the Great Lakes? Um, ah! Forgotten. Forgotten. Where we go? We've learned a bit of... um. We've learned a bit of geography there. I certainly have, because my Canadian geography is not good. I could have maybe named, if I'd thought about it, I could have named the Yukon, I could have named Quebec. I could have named, on. Uh, probably could have named Ontario. I probably would have forgotten about Alberta and British Columbia. I would, naming like the, you know, I, I probably would have done that really badly. Lake Superior, Lake Superior. Okay, that's your big one there. That's Superior. Okay, that's your big one, isn't it? I'll find out the legend of the Giant's Causeway. You're saying I'm wrong about that, Carter. I thought there was an Irish giant and... Um... An English giant and they had an argument and then they walked across and um, created the causeway. No? Am I wrong? Uh, they're the most beautiful. I've never seen the causeway. I've never been to Northern Ireland, but I would love to see the causeway. The legend. According to the legend, the columns are the remains of the causeway built by a giant. The story goes that the Irish giant, which is Fionn Mac Cumhail? Fionn McCool. Fionn McCool. Okay, they've they've spelt it in the Celt in the Celt in the uh, kind of Celtic way. Fionn McCool from the Finian cycle of Gaelic myth. Oh, it's Gaelic, sorry, not Celtic. Oh, what an idiot. Was challenged to a fight by the Scottish giant Benadonna. Fionn accepted the challenge and built the causeway across the North Channel. So that the two could meet. Yeah. Okay. In one version of the story, Finn defeats Benadonna, which is the English one. In another, Finn hides from Benadonna when he realizes that his foe is much bigger than he is. I bet that was the English version. I bet that was the fucking English version. <laughs> Finn's wife, Sabda, disguises Finn as a baby and tucks him in a cradle. When Benadonna sees the size of the baby, he reckons that it's his father. Finn must be a giant among giants. He flees back to Scotland in fright, destroying the causeway behind him so that Finn would be unable to chase him down. Across the sea, there are identical basalt columns. Yeah, yeah, because it's split apart, and that's why we have some in Scotland and some in Ireland, but the best ones are in Ireland. Overall, in Irish mythology, Finn McCool is not a giant, but a hero with supernatural abilities, contrary to what this particular legend may suggest. In fairy and folk tales of the, Iron the Irish peasantry, it is noted that over time the pagan god of Ireland grew smaller and smaller in the popular imagination until they turned into fairies. And the pagan heroes grew bigger and bigger until they turned into giants. Okay. But that was more or less right. Come on. <laughs> Be careful of the F word. <laughs> British settlers had evacuated from the Civil War. Well, you were all British. We uh, we sent you over there. <laughs> America was started by religious fanatics that we uh, 
that buggered off from England because it wasn't religious enough. There we go. We've learned. But yeah, Can Canada's... Um, that's why they've still got the queen on the currency. Although the king's going to fucking snuff it as well, mate. The king's got cancer, uh, Charles. He's going to snuff it as well. So thank fuck they didn't change all the notes, eh? I mean, he, sh he should have uh, he should have given it to um, uh, William anyway, to be honest. Saved all the money of changing the freaking currency. Okay. It won't be as cocky once the barons met. It won't be as cocky. Wagons showed on market. Live right at the bottom of the lake. Oh, really? So you're on Lake Ontario? That's interesting. And the border is about thirty minutes. I'd love, I would love to see. Uh, there's hundreds of shipwrecks on in the bottom of Lake Is there? It's that big. Mayflower, yeah. It's all you know very little of the history of. You must have known about the Giants Causeway, Carson. Come on. You must have. Hang on, where am I in the map? Let's find out. We still haven't had our sexy picnic. That was the main quest today, was get to the sexy pig dick, and we still haven't had it. Finn McCool. It was just written in the Gaelic way. <laughs> yeah, I know, but Americans are very into um, Irish things. You had a lot of Irish settlers, so you guys like to um, look up that kind of stuff. I think you think it's quite romantic. And Carson would probably Carson would probably say, "Romantic, come and fucking see." You didn't know. <laughs> oh, oh man, I would laugh, but Americans, I uh, I would not doubt that. Most the most of you actually. Um, I looked up how many Americans have got passports now, and it's much more than it used to be. Because it used to be so insular. And I get that. For landscapes, you guys are unparalleled. Right, for landscapes and stuff. But for, like, history? Like, anywhere else. <laughs> anywhere else! Okay, now we have to get the quest off her, and then we get the sexy picnic. My god. You can see the lake. How wide is it then, Kirk? At its widest point? Because it doesn't look like a lake, does it? It's so big. It looks like a sea. I've seen a photograph of it. How far is it on the widest point? Fike Isle's free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pastor involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? He's definitely got a nip poking out. For me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here... He still me. hasn't got his end away, so we're Black still uh, pushing, a, pushing through. Check the area. People have Thank swam you. across it. I shall be ever so grateful. Oh, how far is that? <laughs> Teach you about the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects us. <laughs> I didn't expect that, Doi. I didn't expect that. <laughs> People have swam across it. I know it's more like a sea, isn't it? You can't see the other side. A word with you. Oh, Pella. The Pella must. A witchly service. What do you need? Tell me. We're going to turn him down because we're evil Geralt. Father's Eve is nigh. I feel bad about it, but uh, no time. Can't help you <laughs> just now. But we alone cannot keep evil at bay. Evil Geralt doesn't war. care. Men's blood he still hasn't got his sexy picnic. The damned are it wandering great numbers. Ponder it. The Pella will pay ye. Should ye need him, the Pella in his hut you'll find. 
Okay, so we do get money from that. So Gwent money, we should probably do. Okay. Now, I was watching... Um, have you seen... Um, Yellowstone has always been somewhere where I've wanted to go in America. I'd love to go to Yellowstone. I would just love to see it. Um, have you watched the um, free solo with that guy who climbed El Capitan? Amazing. Amazing. Fucking. Just, my God. But that guy is not right in the head. If you've watched Free Solo, that guy is not right. Um, Dave was saying yesterday, you sort of have to have, you sort of a part of you sort of does have to want to die because the chance of that happening is so high. But hang on, let me try and find the. Where's. Here we go. Um, I was watching another thing about the uh, free solo where it was a uh, like a it was a film about the people who made it um, talking about the ethics of making that film oh you can you can see across it really 53 miles I mean that dwarfs any lakes that we've got by far our biggest lake is coniston where we um you know where we blow where we broke the uh speed water record on the bluebird was it the bluebird and then it crashed and it was still down there but eventually they took it out and got his body um okay but yeah they were doing they were doing a program about how they would make how they would make a film about him free solo in Capitan. And originally, the, uh, they were his mates, this filmmaker. The guy was a professional climber, and his wife was a filmmaker. And they wanted to do a film about this guy, because he was the foremost free soloer in the world, because all the other ones are dead. <laughs> every single the other, every single one of the other ones. Oh, we've been talking about geography, Kate. <laughs> we've been talking about where Kirk's from in Canada. We've been looking at maps of Canada. We've been talking about your big lakes. Oh, bugger, I'm gonna have to kill these lads. Hey up, lads! Hey! Shit, I missed my chance to kill him. We've been learning geography, or I have, because I was saying my Canadian geography is not good. Whoa! Time to end this. Woo! One dead. One dead. But it was quite an interesting uh, program because they, from an... Oh, the money shot! What? <sighs> In the... Um... You can download more finishing moves. Armin's going to be getting his uh, shirt, actually. He's going to be getting his GJC shirt. Um, what date is it? Is it the 19th? I get paid on the 23rd, so I'm going to be sending everybody's prizes out next week. Oh, come on. Why do I miss the... Why didn't it let me finish him? Finish him off! Bloody hell. Keep missing that. Not too late to surrender. Not too late to surrender. It's definitely too late to surrender. Come out here. I want to I want to see I want to see the death. Um, free climber not too long ago dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. It kills a lot of them. A lot of them. Well, you know the guys who do this. Um, have you seen the guys who do the squirrel suiting, like the perimeter flying, perimeter flying? You know, in the squirrel suits. That sport kills 
two thirds of people who do it. If you do squirrel shooting, it will kill two in three. Imagine taking that up. Two in three people will die doing that. Perimeter flying. Um, but yeah. So they were talking about this filmmaker and all the other free solos that he looked up to had died. If you watch the actual film, he's not right. He's not right in the head. Um, but he always wanted a free solo um, L Cap and he went and did it. But when they first started making the program about him, they didn't want to, he didn't want to just have a program about him unless he was going to do something he was proud of. So he said, I'm going to climb El Cap free solo. Free solo is no ropes, no nothing, no aid, no nothing. You just climb it. You fall, you're dead. Why can't I fucking heal, motherfucker? Um, hang on, let me find this thing from... Oh, right, that's why, okay. Hey, where did you come from, you cow? Oh, my God. Drowners in the water. Hey! Come on! Come on! Shit, I'm gonna die. I better back up. Back up. Ooh, I knew it. You would love to have a crack in a squirrel suit. I can't, I can't imagine anything more extreme. I can't imagine anything cooler. Can you imagine anything cooler than like dropping out of a plane or over a cliff and just like flying like across the perimeter? I saw the most amazing one where this guy was like flying over the cliffs and all his mates were like standing on the uh, on the cliff, like filming him. And as he came like down towards him, like as he was like flying towards his mates, his mates had to like duck because he was like that far from hitting the edge of the cliff. It was insane. It was fucking insane. But yeah, two in three people will die doing that. No, Pella, no. Right, I'm getting on the horse. I am not getting involved in that again. Shit, I don't want to help you. Bollocks. Bollocks. I keep forgetting there's no auto save. It's very irritating. Um, but yeah, so they were debating how they would um, film this because they knew that uh, it was so, so fucking dangerous. And even the act of having a camera crew there could potentially... Um, impact the way that the guy was climbing you know like if you have the camera crew it may make him make decisions that he wouldn't have previously made so it was talking about the ethics of it like they really didn't know whether they wanted to film this you know because they pictured that he was just going to fall to his death most likely um he didn't he fucking did it but um it was incredible the most incredible thing i've ever seen Go, go. But yeah, he, he's not right in the head. Right, there's this bitch again. Drowners in the waterhead. Hang on, I've got to kill them, it seems. It seems I've got to kill them. Oh, hang on. God, there's a lot. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Bollocks. Hey, were, you fucking didn't hit me there. You hit your mate. Oh. 
hundred percent you try to do something stupid. <laughs> yeah, we would we would definitely die. But can you imagine jumping off the cliff and saying like, you know, there is a two in three chance that I'm gonna die now? That's nuts. But yeah, they were talking about how they would film it and they had to make sure that they weren't actually influencing his decision making. So he said he was gonna climb El Cap. Um, and part of the reason was that they weren't uh, they weren't ever going to ask him when he was going to do it. But they spent two years filming him just aid climbing so on ropes, just doing little bits of El Cap. You know, he'd climbed it for two years, but in little bits. So he'd do like a bit of aid climb for a bit of it, and then he'd free solo that bit and stop. Um, but there were bits of it like there's a really there's a really complicated boulder problem in the middle, which is the hardest part. And if he was going to fall, that's where he would fall. And he wasn't bothered about dying. But what he didn't want to do is die in front of his friends. So uh, they had to rig up, like, um, an auto camera so that they weren't actually there. But they were hanging off the cliff on ropes as well. But uh, nobody had ever climbed El Cap Free Solo, like, ever. Oh, I can't imagine anything cooler. That and flying a fighter jet, you can't imagine anything cooler, can you? Okay, I'm going to save before we get to this water hag. I'm going to try and concentrate and save before we get to this, because uh, I don't want to have to do this again. I'm trying to remind myself to save before we actually tackle her. But they needed the whole team to be climbers as well as filmmakers. Because again, when he's climbing, let's say they're not terribly, they fuck up on their climbing. So they might be hanging next to him filming and they might fuck up and it might startle him or he might look over, which causes him to die. So they were very conflicted about actually filming him doing it. It was incredible that he did do it. Absolutely incredible. I would, I fucking, you know, I'm not that scared of heights, but fucking free soloing anything like no thank you I mean Dave's a really big climber Dave's a really excellent climber um, and he was saying when people do this stuff they aren't climbing above their abilities because that would be stupid and he would definitely die um, he spent two years going up and down doing all the bits of it and he just joined it all together unassisted when he did it but one mistake Right. I mean, Dave nearly died when a bit of rock came off in his hand and he, like, plummeted to the ground, like, fucked his shoulder up. He nearly died. I don't know how he didn't die. His friend who was with him saved his life. No, he didn't die. El Cap. No, El Cap has been climbed, yeah? Free soloed it. He did it. Fucking did it, mate. absolutely insane if you look at the um hang on let me be beat this hag and i'll show you some of the photographs because it's just incredible okay hang on i need to put my potions on let me be i'll do this and i'll show you some of the photos because i'm i'm not very scared of heights but my god that terrifies the shit out of me shots you only get three shots on her and then you're fucked doesn't always stun her you see that like that doesn't always stun her hang on I use some more potions
You managed to climb into your bed without. <laughs> yeah. I've done a bit of. Uh, I've done a little bit, but I'm not that good with heights. But Dave doesn't give a fuck. Dave's incredible with heights, but even that's. Oh, even that's frightening. Shit, my toxicity killed me. Right, I'll just show you some of the pictures of him climbing El Cap because it's just nuts. Um, I can't remember what he's called. Alex. Um, he's called Alex ha Alex Harmond. Um, it's an incredible film. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's amazing. Um, he says the problem with El Cap. He says it's e it's like easier at the bottom. Hard in the middle, and then really hard when you get to the top of it. Yeah, my God. Hang on. Here he is, free soloing it. He's in like a crack at the minute, so what you have to do with the... Hang on, you have to do with these cracks is you have to stick your hands in to create like a hold. Look at that. My God. I mean, you have to be tapped to be able to cope with that. Yeah, but he's, like, sticking his hand into the crack to create, like, um, a hold with his hand. It's, I mean, Jesus Christ. It's just incredible. And that's, uh, that's in the middle portion there. Absolutely fucking incredible. What human beings can do. And there's a little bit of an overhang, but uh, not that much. But uh, it's just insane, man. Alex Honnold, that's his name. Yeah, he's in another crack there. You see, he's putting like both his hands like into it, and that is your hold, right? But you know, even though it's not beyond his abilities, and he's perfectly capable of like climbing this thing. Anything can go wrong. You can have a really strong breeze. You know, a bit of rock can come off. You can get really, like, what if you get a really, what if you get a really sweat, you know, what if you get, like, a muscle spasm or something? You are dead. Like, my God. And all you would see as you were, like, falling away from you, all you'd be able to think was, like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a long fall to be like, oh, shit. At least you wouldn't feel anything when you hit the floor, but oof. It's just incredible. But yeah, the film, the fi the people filming um, were on ropes above him filming. And they, obviously, because it was so dangerous, they didn't want to impact him in any way. So there were various kind of rules they put in place about um, if they were going to film him soloing it, what they would do. It was quite interesting. Or it starts to rain or anything. Anything. I just, fuck, it's incredible. But if you, um, I mean, originally the whole point of the film wasn't that he was going to free solo El Cap. The whole point of the film was they were going to do a character study on him because you have to be um, a very strange person to uh, free solo in the first place. You know what I mean? I've been climbing and I am like, you know, God, it doesn't matter how many times you fall off, you still go <gasps> every single time. You know, and the filmmakers, because they were friends with him, just the entire time they were filming were just imagining him just like falling through the frame to his death, you know. Um, but the relationship, because he's got a girlfriend, he's very kind of he's 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 a bit he's a bit on the spectrum. And this relationship he's got with his girlfriend is quite interesting. He's very kind he's a bit psychopathic really, but I suppose you'd have to be. You know, to have that amount of confidence in yourself. It's like all these top sportsmen, you do have to be um, a bit of a psycho. You know, you've got to have that ultimate confidence in yourself. So you do have to be a bit of a dick, you know. Uh, gee, you've got to be built different. He is, he is. Show a photo of El Cap. Okay. I mean, most of you are Americans. You know what El Cap looks like. <laughs> I don't know how many feet it is of pure granite again. Is the is the yeah, there's El Cap. I'm trying to find the best photograph of it to show the scale of it. Hmm. Yeah. 
I'm just trying to find the best picture to show the scale. I can't remember how many feet it is, but can you imagine just doing like that in one go? You know, it only takes like the smallest thing and you are just plummeting all the way and you've got enough time to be like, oh, I fucked up, man. <laughs> you know, like, whoa. That's not Dawn Wall, though, is it? Dawn Wall is slightly, dis is the other side, isn't it? Dawn is Dawn Wall on El Cap? Let me find out. I think Dawn Wall, they did, they free soloed Dawn Wall as well, but I think they did that as a two. I think El Cap is uh, around the other side. Oh no, Dawn Wall is on El Cap. Okay, that is, it is, yeah, it's the same thing. It is just El Capitan. So that is the Dawn Wall, okay. I didn't know whether it was the same thing or not. Oof, there's the root. Oh, these people are fucking nuts. I mean, these are eight. These look like they're age climbing with like a bivouac. They were the guy standing on like a bivouac. It's the sudden stop. Yeah, you'd have enough time to be like, "Oh, I fucked up, dude." <laughs> Scary shit, man. Scary shit. I've done various climbing on trees and rocks and like fuck that shit. You know, I you've got to have so much conf I, d I don't I don't understand how you can be that I don't know. To have that much confidence in yourself. My mind would be just nothing like uh just constantly like, but what but what if this happens? But what if this happens? But he did spend two years like um climbing it, like aid climbing it and free soloing bits of it. It was not beyond his ability. It was not um, grades beyond what he could do. But it's the fact that anything could go wrong. When Dave was climbing and he fell like fucking 40 foot or whatever, a bit of rock came off in his hand. So anything like that can happen. His friend actually saved his life. I just, I, I don't know, uh, just the, the fucking, the adrenaline would fuck it for me. You know, you know what adrenaline does? Like, the, I get really bad adrenaline shakes. I'm not good with adrenaline. I never have been. My, like, my adrenaline response is way too severe to do that. Okay, let me kill these fuckers. And not die of toxicity. Let's not die of toxicity. <laughs> Fucking water hag. Damn it. Damn it. What now, you piece of filth? We're never gonna get the sexy picnic. I'm taking too long to do these quests. I promised you the sexy picnic and we're not gonna get round to it. space station not because of lack of gravity because of the gravity you are free falling the entire time really you can assess your life before the day oh uh, you know there'll be enough time to be like oh i fucked up dude you know and it doesn't matter how good you are 
you know, shit can happen beyond your control and then you are dead. Those guys are just... I don't... I, it just amazes me that you could have that mindset. I could not do it. My adrenaline would fuck me up. My hands would be so fucking sweaty. You know, my hands would be so sweaty from, like, the, um... Did I pick all that up? From the adrenaline? They'd be shaking. Can you imagine looking at... Oh, my God. I mean, it's just you and the rock, and yes, he's climbed the whole thing for two years. But... My God, it's incredible. Hang on, I'm trying to find Kira's little box. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, this is what I wanted. Wide, heavy wheels. Merchant's wagon. Follow the wagon. Firm grasp on your... Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, his relationship with his girlfriend was very interesting as well. Like, uh, she was like a normal person. She was like a normal person and he was not right in the head. You know, and she saw if she did quite a lot of pleading with him to not do this. Southern slope. Out of current and citrus. Leftovers. Cuts of meat. Catalepus. Catalepus? What spell requires that? A catalepus? Human. From an artery. Can't be far. Can't be far. There's Kira's package. Don't sense anything magic, though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. I suppose we should find this guy. Never came. That's Velen for you. Eventually, when you upgrade Ard, you get they like blow up, which is really cool. It's highly satisfying. Hello, Caleb. If you hit something fast enough, you turn it to dust. Oof. Oof. Okay. Now we can go back. Now we can go back and we might just get the sexy picnic in time. We might just get the sexy picnic in time. Okay. Get the horsey out. Get the horsey. If someone tells you not to do something, does he want to make you do it more? Uh, no, not for me. Not for me. Does it? Does it for you? Does it? Bearing in mind you're a, you're a stepfather of lots of kids. <laughs> Run, Roach. <laughs> well, I know there was that thing about people hitting lava and just um, exploding if you hit lava. Like there's this thing, isn't there, where people think that you would um, sink into the lava, but because it's rock, you wouldn't. You would just smash into the top of it and then just combust instantly. Which probably wouldn't be very nice. But at least it'd be quick. Come on, let's get the sexy picnic out. Come on, Kira, give me it. Give me the sexy picnic. I've promised everybody the sexy picnic. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Got those uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine. Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, zeracane... Exquisite spices. meats! A speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. Then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Mm. Well, go on, out. She takes advantage of us here, it's terrible. But we'll let it happen anyway. We'll You've been patient, anyway. thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane 
Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped Not up a in the mouse pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy tale. Me too, babes. I'll cast the spells myself, but I could use a prince charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Carson and Dottie are just uh, rebels. Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gonna transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gvela Glan. Always talking about a glance. So, what do you think? No. I'm too modest. No! Not the puffy right. sleeves. Oh, I might also have changed the ruined it. This is. Is. I've always felt But Jay though, says it's a fucking big oh, well. sea turtle. Oh, look, well, off we go. It's a baby Dinner's fucking waiting. wheel, man. There, Holy shit, finish. we are witnessing a big. Oh, did you get it, Adeline? Oh, awesome. Holy yeah. shit. Thank you for the that stars. I'm glad you like them. What is that thing? It looks hurt. I don't know. That thing looks hurt, Jay. Jay, that thing is hurt, bro. Holy shit, look at this fucking thing. Oh my god, what the fuck is that, bro? Thanks, babe. Nobody beats me in a horse race. Poster. No it's problem. Awesome. My pleasure. We're clearing out the um the stock room, so free merch for everybody. Ah! <laughs> we'll have a great fall. Cut her off at the pass there. She couldn't get past me. No one beats me in a magical horse race. We won't get any Gwent money for it, though. Annoyingly. The Knight's Tawny one we never got. And I don't know why, but we didn't. We never got the Knight's Tawny achievement, and I did that perfectly. How romantic. It's about to get romantic. <laughs> Congratulations. Get your loots you out. an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? You know when it's coming down, when you get the, uh, you get the romantic loot music. Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. Thank you. Among the most no difficult, problem. correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. 
Thought we'd come here to make love, babes. All right. Let's get down to business. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's why That's we're why here, we're isn't, here it? isn't it? Yes, Geralt. That you may know here. about wine, but you remain quite unsophisticated otherwise. That's very good, because boars are much better in bed. Now, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. I can't right, guarantee there's not going to be any bobs or machines. If there are, just don't don't look. Don't look at them, okay? Kira, don't look. I, I can't guarantee that there's not, not going to be any, okay? I can't guarantee it. Sorry. Can I not steal some stuff? Okay. We can't. Let's <laughs> steal some stuff off the table. We need the food. Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Wow. <laughs> you can leave your hat on. Defo won't now look like. Don't, don't look, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> don't look. Don't tell Zuckerberg. Okay. I can't guarantee there won't be any. It's not as bad as when he goes down on her in the boat. <laughs> that's a different that's a different tale for another day. <laughs> Found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. Who's playing that harp? Oh, don't look! <laughs> don't look! Nobody look! <laughs> don't look! Hello, oh. oh, Tim. Tim comes in at the right time. Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? What now, you piece of... Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Egvain Navi. God, I wish I had Zuckerberg. <laughs> Y'all behaving in here. <laughs> Kira, where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. God, I wish I had that. <laughs> <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. Okay. Hang on. She's supposed to have stolen our clothes. Hang on. Because we did that last quest differently. We've still got our clothes, which is <laughs> just at the right time. Which is weird, because usually we don't have any clothes at the minute. That's really odd. You have to go into a hat and, oh god. I've, I've heard the traffic is bad. That's part of the reason I don't like going to London because I, I would I won't drive down to London because the traffic is so bad. Well, there you go. I did I did get you the sexy picnic in the end, and you you did saw a you saw a bob as well. But don't tell Zuckerberg you saw one. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't sleep very well, mate. Um, right, hang on, let me sort these raids out. Two seconds, two seconds, and I'll sort the raids out.